Okay. Uh, hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good morning. It is 7 24, 2021. Right now, we're going to do some Dark Tower, uh, some League, uh, some Divine Arena, and then also we're going to uh, go into a new account and you know, start it from the beginning so that we can get some coverage for the uh, earlier stuff in the game. Uh, that would include the early journeys, the early quest, and possibly some of the hunt as well. We're doing that because of a viewer request to have some coverage for the newer players coming in, uh, disciples who may or may not know stuff about the game. So yeah, we'll get right into it. So first of all, let us go to the Dungeon of Trials after setting up our stuff. We're going to swap out our warlord make sure we have our pet ready yep we are good there okay uh we're gonna also turn on our guild boosts for the time being because we are underpowered relative to who we're facing so we're going to our guild and then giving our attack boost over here so melee ranged chaos nature and then order over here we started with about 41, spent about 16. It'll last for a week, so that's good. We're going to Dungeon of Trials. All right, we have three, uh, we have two attempts here, and then we need three wins over here. Each half star is a win. We have about a day or so to get it done. And so, yeah, let's go. All right, that's not a good sign. So they have a lot of health right from the beginning, so we're going to be expecting a lot of larger units on their side. Taking a look at their skills, so you have heal, silence, and then stones with the heal. Poison unit over here. All right. Let's see what we can do. I think best we can do right now is probably just this reflect unit. So we'll summon this here. Get a kill over here. And use this skill here to reflect damage back to their uh, units over here when they're attacked. Right, so damage over there, reflect over there, and we killed that, so that's cool. And is our unit poisoned? Our unit is not poisoned, so that's good. We can continue to create a base. We're going to try and get some health back, uh, even though we do need uh, some units with higher stats. We're, so we're just summoning right now. We summon our melee unit in order to kill this building and then get some health back off of our Gleedy pet over here. So the next thing we need to do is get rid of this silence. And the only way to do that is to draw out the damage. We'll continue on with our melee pet, our melee unit, summoning that. Came into play, dealt some damage, and then we dealt combat to destroy this. All right, so we did the silence, so that is good. Next, we need to draw out the stones, and then we can balance out the field. Our health is okay right now to what's going on. Uh, still need to get rid of their other units, as mentioned. So we have that. As plus health. Same here, damage to make it. Uh, best we can do is summon, Let's see what makes sense. We'll summon this, uh, ranged unit over here. Just deal some damage, block in the lane. Also give evasion to this unit. And then also whenever one of our, one of their units come into play, it will give metal shield to another unit. That's fine. Letting that die. Gonna continue on, gonna hold off this unit because it is a large threat. We're gonna be summoning this ranged unit over here. And then when it comes into play, it summons uh it summons a building at the end of the turn. So a little bit of block over here. Still waiting for them to drop the stones. Because uh, that's when we can balance out the field. Right, so damage, damage to the tree. Oh, so we got one over here. Thirty-nine, so not quite enough to destroy that. Could do that. Yeah, we can actually set up our wounded skill. So we're summoning our melee unit over here. Do some damage, attack and destroy that. Then some negative effects over here. This unit has a death skill, so that whenever it dies, it deals damage to one of their units. So hopefully they'll actually mark this for damage, and then we can go from there. This unit here deals damage to one of our units whenever it attacks our warlord, so that is why we are we lost at least this unit over here. All right, so the unit here with metal shields, crystals over here. You are summon. 
I'm going to hold off on that, and then we're going to summon our building here to block the damage. And then also it deals damage to units that when they come into play. So then we can set up for our uh, destruction skill afterwards. Get rid of these here. Block over here. This will die due to combat. This will... Oh, it doesn't die due to combat. Oh, but... Okay, damage over there. All right, use our skill. And then we need to get rid of their units in order to get some field back. Okay, uh, seems to make some more sense. Got damage over there. Summon this melee unit. Break the shield. Also summons this building here for some damage whenever one uh, unit dies. And then whenever it gets attacked, it'll get some health back to us. But not looking too good right now, just because of the low health and relatively weak units over here. So damage, damage. Oh, ah, uh, no good. Alright, that's fine. Like I said, we were we knew that they had higher health units, so yeah, something to deal with. Alright, one more attempt. Let's go. Okay, slightly better matchup. Look at their warlord. So they have the oops, have the same thing with heal, silence, and stones. And then they also have a gleedy pet too that will get some health back for them. We'll hold off on our summon, and we are going to use a ranged unit for now. Actually, no, we need to summon units with higher health. So we'll actually summon this unit here. It has extra attack, and it also can steal attack from units whenever we destroy one of their units that isn't a building. So we're going to start with this threat over here. Okay. Uh, did have a unit here. It's a problem with the extra totem that's going to reflect damage and then also give heal to their units as well. So we'll continue on with higher health units. We're going to be placing this down here. Getting rid of some of their buildings. It's not looking good right now. I guess even if we did summon our range unit to have it block and then deal some damage, it wouldn't be enough because we still need to deal with their units. So we have that. I'm going to continue on and we're going to summon this behind here. Get a little bit of protection and then also here at the end of the turn, it will freeze one of their units. All right, so now we have that as a silence. Probably going to have to do our destruction skill early just because of this unit's skill here to give wood spike protection. But let's see here. We got, all right, so we'll do our skill at least to get our summon on play. And then we need to block a little bit of damage. So we have that, 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 that. Places over here. So when this unit gets attacked, it will deal damage to units in the line and then also heal itself. So that's why we summon this over here. Get some damage over here to potentially stop the damage over here. Okay, so we'll do our skill here to get rid of these. And then also we need to have some block. This unit has counterattack, so that's an issue over here. Damage there. Best we can do is this right now. I, I really wish we had our uh, Spider Queen instead because then we could have marked their units for damage uh, a couple of turns ago and then also not worry about their heal. But it doesn't look like we're going to make it out of this one unless we can get some other attackers. Does this unit have double attack? No, it does not. Okay. Got damage, damage. We'll summon our unit here. The attack will be set to one, but then we'll transform this melee unit. The next some extra damage over there. This line is very vulnerable though because of the two attackers. Ugh. All right, too many strong units couldn't couldn't do it this time, even with the boosts. So that was unfortunate. All right, well, we'll have to get some more attempts for later. Uh, we know for sure we're going to be uh, clearing this out. It's just a matter of when we're going to do it. Uh, so yeah, we'll check back in on that. All right, next thing we'll do is league. So go to the league, name some chests. Hopefully it doesn't freeze. 
it has this weird thing where if you click the corner, you'll end up freezing the. Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, that's what exactly what I was talking about. All right, gonna reload and then uh, continue on with Lee. Uh, for those who are tuning in right now, we just did some Dark Tower, got crushed on both ends, so that was that was fun. And then, uh, yeah, we're currently doing League. We uh, we were opening some chests and it just crashed, so we gotta reload and kick it back there. Uh, also, I did check from last night, so there was no Crisis Fable that did come in yet. We're waiting until Sunday at the latest to see if we can get the crisis fable so we can get a discount on the high growth and then we'll level up our stuff otherwise we'll just level up our stuff as normal and then we'll take it from there Looking at this background here, are, do all of these units exist in this game? That one does, that one does. What is which one is this one? I know what these are. This is Freddy. This can be what's this? who's with the green hair? Tina. This is the who's this? All right, hopefully it doesn't crash again. I'll be very specific about where I click. Right in the center. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, still some progress going on. So that's good. Uh, da, 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 da. <sighs> all right all right give it another uh you know, minute or so normally it does not take this long in order for it to reload i'm guessing because of the uh software up maintenance updates that it's taking this long all right let's go this here okay i see what's going on all right closing that up go back to the league bring these chests like i said right in the center Oh, come on. Are you serious? Wow. That is disgusting. All right. Dude, that is ridiculous. As soon as I went to claim, I, I'm going to find a way to report this in, in uh, support or something because there is no way that as soon as you open a league chest, it just dies on you. Sorry guys, this is this is not the way that this was <laughs> this was planned out at all. Probably should just open those before so that way we didn't have to deal with the uh, you know back end stuff. Oh, so we're gonna pick up the speed as soon as we get back in into this. It's even worse than the other time. So there was this error before that used to happen. Uh, after maybe like an hour or so, pretty much the game would freeze whenever you did something kind of random. So it would stop a lot of people from doing Dark Tower and then some other uh, world event stuff. And that problem is mostly gone, but I mean, that one came out at the most randomest of intervals. It only happened every few hours. So if as long as you either, I guess, cleared your cache or refreshed your browser, it would have been okay. 
But for this one, like, you, as you saw, I just opened up some chests and then it crashed. And within five minutes, when I came back, it just crashed again. Ridiculous. I think there's only one more chest for us to open there, so it should be fine. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Maybe if I click the chest really slowly, that'll work. All right, so we'll go here. One more chest, and it did not freeze, All right, so that's good. Cool. All right, we're in league right now. Got six chests to get, so let's go. All right, uh, Ogre with low health. Take a look at their skill, so little heal, silence, and then heal over here. We have this unit that has metal shield whenever we summon one of our units we'll start with our poison unit behind the building some protection the metal shield over there and then poison on this over here we're doing that so that we can mark this unit for damage and then also break that shield that they have as soon as we summon a unit all right another unit over there summon our female units here summoning this because it silences that male unit that has the metal shield and that poison damage over here from the second turn, first turn and then second turn, destroying this over here. Also setting up for a board wipe at the beginning of the next turn, which we do have. We'll do our summon, do our board wipe, summon here on the extra attack rune, and should be good for lethal. Two, three, yep. All right. Claiming our wind chest, we're going to do this. Claim the claim is just a little slower so that we don't run into that crashing stuff. All right. Okay, we're gonna be skipping this higher health unit or higher health warlord. Gonna make up some time here for the uh, crashes that were happening this morning. Ooh, look at this, forty-five health. I'm not even going to go into their skills because at this point we're just going to one-shot them. So here. That's nice. We might actually see more of that later on. Or more. Okay. Uh, low health Adam. So we'll do that. Take a look at their skills. So damage, uh, range units, and then attack to order. Start with our poison unit once again, with protection behind the building, also poison damage to the unit here, and then extra damage to the warlord over here. So poison here. They did their skill to have access to this lane, so they'll probably end up attacking and destroy this, which is fine. We'll have our extra attack unit over here, this here, and then extra attack over here. There we go. All right, moving on. Okay, we got the unit here with the high health, so we're gonna skip that. Uh, yeah, I'll skip this one too. Even though I, I know that this one is going to be okay to deal with, it just takes a while just because of their uh, Warlord skills. They pretty much stall like Ogre, so. A high, uh, sorry, low health Ogre, so we'll deal with that. Take a look at their skills. So they have heal, silence, and stones with heal. They also have a pet over here that gives a little bit of health to their units. And they have a unit here that deals instant kill runes, so whenever we land a unit on there, it will be destroyed. Start with our, we'll start with our summon first, and then we'll follow up with this unit here to silence the mail units, so that way it doesn't have this death trigger over here, and then also stops the death runes from coming out. We did their heal, which shouldn't be too much of an issue right now because we have some decent attack on our units. Okay. 
extra attack to two of their units. So in this case, it's just the one here, not two itself. Continue on with our... We don't have to destroy those quite yet. So we're going to summon our extra attack unit over here. And we're going to take the damage over here. Should be should be good here. 222-ish. -ish. Yeah, we're fine here. So we have our damage at the beginning of the turn. So we can now get rid of this. And then we'll summon our extra attack unit. And we should be good. There we go. Right. Okay, claiming another wind chest so we can get the rewards going. Okay, some rare area. Useful. All right, uh, two more. Another low health ogre, so that's good. We'll start with our summon and then we will continue with our range unit over here. And we're summoning this range unit because it gives these pentagrams at the beginning or at the end of the turn and then at the end of the turn it also deals damage based upon the health of one of our units so if any of these buildings are destroyed they'll actually deal more damage overall uh, so that's why we summon this here all right uh let's summon this over here we're summoning this to silence the male unit which is this one over here with the symbol and this unit here would have gave our units negative attack for our order units which are these two over here also setting up a board wipe for next turn with their skill which we are able to do so you see the damage destruction and then just summon here and there you go all right got one more Skipping the high health ogre. Also skipping this one here. I always wonder what, what changes people are making. I, I've, I've faced that name before. Usually they end up using the, um, the geisha. Don't know how often people end up changing their warlords and whatnot. So I'm going to skip this one too. I know for sure that there's a smaller one out there. There you go. All right. So we'll start with our summon and then we're actually going to summon this over here. Take a look at their skills. So they have damage rune, uh, damage cells, damage pentagrams on our cells. The sharks here, uh, that'll give negative attack to our units for a turn and then also plus attack the male units. So I got that over there. Summon should be good here. So we'll summon our unit to deal damage to their units over here. We're off by one damage. <laughs> okay. That is fine. We have lethal either way over here. We yeah, so there we go. So that was league. All right. Uh, like I said, the next thing. Okay, so we did Dark Tower, did League. Next thing we're gonna do is this Divine Arena over here. So let's check it out. Okay, looks like we have a Son of Woods on the left. We have a King of the North on the right. Looking at the flavor text over here, doesn't really help us here. I'm sure there is some sort of theme that's going on, but I I can't figure out what it is. I'm guessing it's Game of Thrones. No. All right, well, we'll start with the Son of the Woods side, so let's go. All right, uh, taking a look at their skills. So they have damage to our units, has these extra summons in the first column, and then plus attack to order. Has buildings here for plus, plus attack, negative attack on their side, and negative attack and regular stone here on the right. So knowing that they have a skill that will deal damage to our units, we're going to start with a unit that has high health. And so we're going to be placing this over here. We're going to get rid of their building that gives the plus attack. We'll then get rid of this building that gives the negative attack, and then we'll start building up our field. All right, so it has reflect damage, plus block, block to the warlord. This unit over here that deals damage to one of our units. Be 
units here. Then, like I said, we're going to be summoning units with high health if we can. So in this case, it'll be that one there. We did our spikes. I just forgot how much it was for. Mm, and we don't want to trigger attacks. So what we're going to do is we're going to summon this unit behind this building. So that way it can't attack. Okay. That unit was destroyed because of the skill over here. Some extra damage is going to be coming our way for every attack. Spikes. All right. Spikes for 58. Wow. That extra health over there. Um, no, this is fine. You know, we'll summon our ranged unit over here. Uh, ranged unit here with the uh, flight. So we can actually block the attack over here. But then we'll let our spikes come into play. And so then this will actually destroy this unit over here. All right, so they did their skill to deal damage. And then they did their extra summons. Those extra summons have blocked. I'm sure they combo with this unit here with getting the extra attack to order units whenever one of our units dies. And then the extra health over there. All right, like I said, the key thing we want to do is get rid of this unit over here. Uh, so we have that, that. Hmm. See here, over here. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, we will do our... Let's take a look at the... I know this has extra damage to range units, so that's cool. Uh, we'll do our silence to actually stop this extra damage coming from this unit. And then we are going to... So over here to get rid of this unit. Also, this unit here has its own type of reflection damage whenever it gets attacked based upon the attack of this unit. Also gets a little bit of block at the end. So it'll help keep that alive. Damage, damage over there. We'll have combat damage to destroy this. And then now we're going to continue on with another unit with high health to destroy this here. So we had to pretty much draw out their skills. We just need to worry about the plus attack to order, but as long as we keep picking off their units, should be good. So we have this, yes, this gets plus health whenever it kills, and then the extra attack. Just doing some math here, because we need to deal enough damage to destroy this. So 47, 22, that's 44, that is 91. So that's good for that. Don't need to give it extra attack per se. Do yeah, all right. Should be good here to destroy this. And yeah. Right, so right now we're just making sure that we can get rid of their units. We have enough balance on our side of the field where we can get the extra damage going, so that is good. Uh, over there. Do we need to destroy this? Just bleeding to our units, which we kind of don't want to do because we like our units here. So what we'll do is... We'll actually hold off on attacking that. We'll summon our... We'll summon this unit. So this unit, it deals damage based upon the health of one of our units. It'll also heal our units as well. So in this case, we have two units that are wounded. Hopefully we can get this one healed up so that we can deal some more damage based upon the health of it. All right, so once again, we got that other unit that is dealing damage to one of our units. All right, we're going to... I want to hold off on using the health boost over here, but we're going to do something this unit here to hopefully reflect the damage if we can. Deal some extra damage. Ugh. Wow, this unit is going to be such a pain for next time if we have to face it again. So most of our units were destroyed, which is really gross, and they have that fury combo too, which actually deals extra damage whenever they attack. And no, we, uh, yeah, we're going to be destroyed here because of the extra attack unit. So Ugh, kind of unfortunate. They were able to rip this unit twice. It has the, a lot of protection, so stinks. But, all right, we'll try that again. Looks like we'll still have to get rid of their buildings first just because of that particular setup. So we will hold off on that. Still have to get rid of their buildings. Got to find a way to keep our units uh, stable so that we don't get uh, into a situation like that. So this unit here, it gives spikes. I didn't notice this in the beginning. So it gives spikes to one of our units whenever it attacks. Uh, do our skill just in case we need to back up for here. And then we are going to, again, not summon a unit that attacks. So we will, I'm going to hold off on summoning our reflect unit because that, that is going to be really, really helpful for us later. So we'll just summon this unit. 
offer some damage. All right, our our flight unit here was destroyed, and then also our building over here. But we are now setting up on the bottom. Have our spikes that will destroy this here, so that's good. Okay, now we're going to continue with our setup over here. Need to heal this unit, so that's why we're summoning over here. Get some health pentagrams as well. I, I'm assuming these health pentagrams are actually going to help us over the later turns, because then we can have units that can take that damage from the beginning. All right, so spikes in there. Get some health back. Uh, hmm. you know what? Here, we'll start with this unit instead. we got to get some health back to our warlord, and which we'll do based on every attack that occurs. And then we're setting up in this way, putting in the second column here so that we can put a melee unit to actually keep it alive. So this deals damage to melee units when it dies. I'm going to continue on with summoning this unit here. That reflect damage. Oof, I forgot about that extra damage in the beginning, so that's not good. Uh, they did their two summons. We're gonna hold off on our using our silent skill unless until that other unit with the extra damage comes to our units. So damage, damage, damage. Really wanted to hold off, but now yeah, because we have this. Ugh. All right, we'll do our silence to get rid of that. Place this in front of here. Get some reflect damage to at least stop this. I'm going to be so mad if that other unit comes on play, which is right now, of course. Okay, we don't have anything to get rid of this right now. So this is here, here, reflect. All right, fine, fine, fine. It's so gross. It's because I didn't deal enough damage to kill that range unit in the beginning. Or not in the beginning, it was a uh, fourth turn. The one that deals, deals damage to our uh, melee units. All right, so let's start once again. Let's see what that goes. Okay. Okay, got that own reflect damage. Gonna do that. Get rid of that building. Summon that unit again. All right. Okay. All right. We'll do our uh, spike skill to have this destroyed. And once again, we're going to place this over here. The damage from this unit is so large. Can't take any more units being lost, so we'll have to silence this to avoid the plus health to their units. So damage, damage. I'm gonna put this over here, so we'll get some protection from our building, and then also get some health back on our attack. All right, so they did their skill, got rid of this building. Most likely they're gonna be destroying this unit because why would they just steal the damage and do nothing else over here? So we got that going. Okay, got the extra damage that's going to occur to our units. Really not concerned so much about this unit anymore. It's just more of this one here. So we're actually going to put our flight unit here to block against the damage. All right, so summon a unit here with extra attack to two of their units. So it's just this one here. Grab this one here. We're going to summon our reflect unit and then also destroy this unit over here. So reflect. Damage there. All right, so we'll deal that, destroy that. Need to get rid of this unit because of the extra damage around our units. So we'll have, let's see, we'll have that. Let's 
splash over there. We'll get some health back actually off of our kill. So we will do that over there, that over there. Actually, no, you know, we, we need more health anyways. So we'll do this instead. So we'll attack, attack. All right, and we're summoning flight unit to block on the extra lanes. This unit does have that extra splash damage around, but it won't be enough to destroy this. We're using our reflect damage over here, and hopefully we can pick off one of these two units, which in this case we do. So that's good. We'll give plus attack to our nature units, and then summon this over here. And there we go. All right, so that one took a lot of navigating in terms of having our units with reflect damage and then also had to get rid of their attack boosters and then health boosters too. All right, let's head over to the king of the north side and hopefully this won't take uh this won't take too long. All right, so uh, I guess we'll start with our own uh setup. So they have their spikes here, they have the silence and then the plus attack to nature. We will, since we have a lot of extra attacker units, yeah, we'll start with our own. Yeah, that's fine. So we're summoning our unit here, get some extra attack. We know that they're going to do spikes anyway, so we might as well just maximize the damage before we can. And then we also are going to put units behind our buildings if we have to, in order to avoid damage. Right, so we have this unit here, has plus block, and then also reflects that damage. We're going to... See if we can actually get enough on this. So there, one, two, three, four, five, six. This will be 35. It's doing some math because I need to break through this here. So 25 plus 73. So that's 90, what, 95? And then the 20, was it six? Seven, six, 42, 42. So that's 100. Oh yeah, so that should be enough. All right, so we'll summon our unit here. Deals that extra damage, attack, and although the reflection destroyed that, we just wanted to make sure we can get rid of this unit now. We also didn't want to use our skill too early because this damage could actually be very useful for later on. So we have that. Summoning our unit here. And then getting the health back once it does the kill. Right now we're just being a little more conservative with our skills until we can draw out the silence, which we have not yet. This unit's going to be reflecting that damage. It's the one that we wanted. Uh, we'll get our we'll get our damage in first over here rather than uh, down here. So you can see that reflect damage, and we're actually okay with this unit dying because it will give that bleeding to their units. So that is why we summoned it up here to just to get some extra damage. Uh, put that over there. We can actually do our skill now, so that won't be so bad. Just get rid of this, getting rid of this without the um, the reflect. Which yeah, that won't be so bad. All right, so we'll do our skill. We'll do our summons. And do we need to destroy this? No, no, we're fine. We'll summon our extra attack unit over here. Even though right now their warlord has a little bit of block on that reflect. This is fine. We wanted to draw the spikes. If they do the silence now, it's okay. Because then we don't have to worry about our other units being lost. We just need to get rid of this unit now that is going to give health back to their warlord whenever one of their units destroys something. So that over there, that over there. Want to hold off on using the uh what do you call our extra attack unit until the spikes is gone and so for now what we're going to do is place this because it deals 58 so we're actually going to place this over here and this is fine with having our units being destroyed because we are going to like i said we're going to set up using our that range unit from last time that deals the extra damage to their units Spikes is gone. Spikes is not gone yet. Uh, yeah, we'll place this over here. Just to block for some damage, and then like I said before, whenever one of it whenever it dies, it gives bleeding to their units. So that is what that is going to be for. So they did their attack boost. 
All right, got some health back because of this unit with the extra attack. Got that bleeding over there. And will we actually be able to take the damage is the question. So we'll have that. Is that over there? Yeah, we'll take the chance. All right, so we'll summon our unit over here. Get some extra attack. And then we're just going to let their units hopefully pick themselves off, especially since most of them have bleeding anyways. So damage. Yep. All right, damage. And see, yeah, there you go. With the extra damage over there. We can't take any more damage anymore, so we'll, we'll need to put something to block. So in this case, it'll be our... Be this unit over here. And we're also dealing some extra damage because every time one of our units attacks, it will deal damage to their warlord. Most likely they're going to send something to destroy this, which is okay. We'll have that over there. Uh, we'll continue on with our... Now we'll continue on with our uh, extra attack unit. And that also has relatively high health. And now we just need to block this lane and we should be all set. That's not gonna help. Seeing how much damage we can end up doing here. So we have one, two, three, four, sixteen. All right, yeah, we'll sum this over here. Give some extra attack to our units. Also give extra attack to this unit. Oh no! And we left this. Oh man. All right, that was that was not good. All right, all right, all right. So we did end up leaving that extra damage out there. Really should have just picked off the unit. Should have done the math. <sighs> All right, one more time. We know now what we have to do anyways for this one. Just uh, make sure that we can put some more early board pressure. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll get rid of their buildings first, starting with this unit here, the extra attack. The extra attack plus this damage around the adjacent enemies allowed us to get rid of these buildings here. All right, so they have their reflect unit, which is fine. We're going to... We're going to continue on with some damage down here. And then we also have to make sure we summon units with high enough health to take the spikes damage. So we're going to hold off on summoning some of these uh, weaker units until later. So we need some of that. Summon our extra attack unit, gets an attack boost for every chaos unit that's on the field. On our side, rather. And then, so there we go. Okay, so it's going to be reflecting that damage, just factoring their block over here. So 39. We'll do our skill, actually, so that we'll can guarantee we can deal some damage. 39. So we're going to be off by a little bit, but that is okay. We'll do our summons here, and we're going to actually go for as much damage as we can right now. So damage. This unit here, it gives extra attack to two of our melee units. So in this case, it'll be this one, uh, these two over here, and then it'll combo with this unit skill to deal extra damage to their warlord. Okay, got that reflect damage going on, and we're actually going to summon this unit here. It gets an attack boost to our units whenever it attacks, and should be enough here for damage. There we go. All right, so that one was a lot better in terms of our initial board setup. We got rid of their reflect damage unit early, and then we just continue with the extra damage from our uh, summons. All right, so that was Divine Arena, so that's cool. Uh, checking to the events, making sure we have this stuff going. Oh, happy chest. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're going to do, uh, as I mentioned before, so we're actually going to do some new account stuff. So I am going to close this out for now, and then we're going to start back in time. All right, so signing out. Just got to make sure I do this right. All right. Close this.
Just signing into the other one right now. All right, so that's good. Looks like, uh, well, it looks like it's loading. It says I'm logged in. I'm so excited to see what this is going to look like. Uh, right, so the same intro screen, so that's cool. Looks like we're at least playing the same game. Still thinks I'm on my other account though. That's so weird. Let me refresh that. Maybe that'll I'll fix that. Yeah, because when it showed the uh in-game ID down there, it said uh what do you call? It said my in-game ID. And so we're trying to see if uh well if it's a different ID then we know for sure that it has worked. Hope I don't need to either close my cache or go to a different browser in order to do it. Because if that's the case, then I'm going to have to do this at a later time. Also wanted to do this on Congregate because I wanted to keep the same, what do you call the, the graphical the graphical setup as opposed to saying oh going on their main site or doing on facebook or mobile okay it still says my id uh we'll just load it anyways and see if it works and if it doesn't then we'll have to we're gonna have to put it in a different video <laughs> Still loading, still loading. Nice, all right, cool, I got it done. All right, so looks like we have our intro screen, which is cool. Oh, the stick figure game, great. All right, <laughs> so they have this little thing in the beginning where you need to actually destroy this boss over here. And so in order to do that, you need to defeat these troops. You can only defeat troops, from what I remember, is you can only defeat troops that are smaller than you. So that's because of because of this, we need to actually set this up in a way that we do. So I'm going to face this troop over here. And what, from what I remember, too, it's also an auto win as long as you have it more than the other units. So we'll do that. So we got that. It's 45, 75. 125, and that is enough to destroy this boss over here. Oh, I thought they took this out in the game, but it is still here. This is great. All right, so we got some rewards. Collect those. And got some gold and some units. Looks like we're getting to our first actual battle. Okay, so we're going to be drawing some units in order to attack this. We're going to be placing this over here, apparently. This is, uh, this is the tutorial that is going on right now. 
Sure. <laughs> oh man, this is great. All right. So we got damage. Warlord is taken down. Sure. All right. Continue on. This should be enough damage to destroy them. See? Five, four, yep. Okay, got some more rewards. Okay, so that's some gold, and we got a new unit. Great. Okay, got another battle going on over here. Okay, got a lot of buildings here. Got to find a way to get rid of those. Guess we'll summon our unit with the high health, but we can't because they're instructing us to summon a unit that we don't want to summon. So that's fine. <laughs> All right, well, we'll use our skill now to get rid of these buildings. Also get rid of this unit. Uh, for those who are tuning in, so uh, right now, uh, so right now we're going back into another account to actually go through some of the older stuff uh, for newer players. And uh, we also did some Dark Tower, we did some Divine Arena, and we also did some League. And we do our summon here, so we'll get the extra attack, and then we'll go from here. Uh, I feel so awkward using units that have four attack. <laughs> All right. Oh, got some new units. That's cool. Ah, the stick figure game again. Great. All right. Well, like I said, we can only do it in the order, uh, in a specific order, because we can't destroy units that have more troops than us. So we go to the 20, then that'll lead us to the 30. Uh, we can destroy this 40 over here and not have to worry about these two. And I don't think we need to actually destroy all of these, just the big boss here. So we'll attack that. Yeah! Oh, we still need to attack them. That's... All right, all right, never mind. We don't... All right, so that's cool. All right, some more rewards. Okay, the Hall of Fame is now open. Great. So we can fight others. The, the Trone of Pangea. <laughs> Sure. All right. It is intro time. All right. We're going into League at League 30. All right. It's time to fight some people. Okay. Some little jibber jabber over there. And looks like our combat is going to be stifled for a little bit because not only can we not choose our units that we're fighting with, do we need to destroy this now? Uh, no, we'll we'll keep on going with the high health, unless they're telling us to summon units. All right, we can't even do the attacks uh, attack speed skip uh, until later on because we have to be at a certain league in order to unlock that. Uh, we will summon our units actually. Yeah, fine. All right, all right, all right. We shouldn't expect too many surprises right now just because we are starting at the very beginning. So as long as we stick with our normal combat tactics, we should be fine. Yes, you are good. <laughs> sure, all right. Hmm, level up. Our first level up. That's going to be fun. So we'll spend some gold in order to do it. And looks like we got a new skill. So we give plus attack to our order units for a turn. That's good. Looks like most of our units are order at this point. So that's going to help us out a lot. Got a new warlord to face. But it doesn't look like... Oh, they do have skills. All right, even at level 1, they still have skills. All right, so they'll deal spikes damage. Over there, so we want to summon a unit that can have enough health. Can we not summon this unit? Even though it's instructing us to summon, we're going to summon our unit here with the high health. So that way it can take the spikes damage as mentioned before. Uh, we'll summon our unit here with the attack. And we don't need to destroy their units right now because they're not really too much of a problem until now. It's blocking our attacking unit, so we'll use our skill to destroy those. And then we'll keep going with our uh, attackers with a high attack. Okay. 
Okay, they didn't activate their skill, which was kind of weird, but all right. We'll summon here, and we should have lethal. Yep. Here. Yes, we have gone to League 29. <laughs> The hero summons, sure. All right. Looks like we're going to get some new units. And it's free, so that's even better. Opening the cards. Got. Ooh, got three new units. And this rare unit as well. Okay. My army or my squad. Why not just call it squad? It says it right here. The Kurt squad. All right. Looks like we. This takes so much getting used to, especially since being in League One for such a while. All right. So this will help us strengthen our army to the strongest available. That's cool. Close that out. We'll go to the journey. I also forgot what the story was here. Didn't really pay attention to it because after a while it just kind of runs together all right so we're going to be doing our first journey battle oh this is great all right we will continue and battle let me look at our their stuff no we cannot let me look at their squad let me look at our squad no we can't is there a way for me to lose this battle probably not since of their low health that's fine we will fight them with our units for now. I was surprised they made you start journey in the very beginning. But this is uh this is when what do you call? So they made a change to journey about maybe a year ago where it was you just fight one one particular warlord and you can keep on recycling them over and over for rewards. But now uh there's a uh, story progression. So in this case yeah, it looks like we can only fight these guys one time, which is unfortunate, but it is part of the tutorial, so we'll go through it from there. Okay, got some new rewards, got some gold. No, okay. I will level up my heroes. Can I close? No, they won't. I am forced to level up. How gross is that? All right. I want to keep it at level one. Okay. Looks like we have 24 hours to... To beat this so uh, so we can get the maximum amount of rewards so might actually just cycle and get through this chapter one if we can yeah maybe we'll just stop at the end of chapter one and then we'll go from there or we'll close up shop for today because i have no idea how long this might take all right so we're gonna close this out uh really gotta get through that tutorial stuff here the path of heroes so it looks like there are a couple of quests here that will end up giving us some extra rewards with the final one here being to defeat that that journey boss claim this get some gems uh sure i'll change my name what should i change my name to uh what seems to be uh, here we'll we'll do it to this There we go. Okay. Ooh, it looks like we're going to get some extra gifts for being a novice. Hooray. All right. So we'll claim our chest. Uh, for those who are tuning in right now, uh, I started a new account just so we can get some coverage for uh, newer stuff in the game uh, or uh, stuff for newer accounts in the game. And so we're going to be going through all of this stuff, going through journey, hunt, all that fun stuff that uh, we take for granted in the higher levels. Uh, we also did some dark tower some divine arena and so that uh we're kind of wrapping up here with this uh, new account so we're going to close off here okay oh free chest i'll claim that free chest we get a new unit ah uh, okay let's doing some more exploring seeing what else we can do uh gold mine is open they're suggesting us to go for here At level one, will we be able to destroy any gold mine statues? 
Sure. So gold mine. Uh, gold mine is where you can actually destroy the statues and then uh, get some gold as a response. Uh, we'll summon our highest attacking unit. So in this case, it'll be this one here. Uh, we'll continue on. We're going to split, spread out our damage so that we can actually open some extra statues. Said so spreading out our, our damage. Also having to destroy statues anyways. Continue on. Oh, this one has seven health. All right. Well, we'll do our skill. So we can deal some damage, destroy those, place another one over here. Okay, we'll place another ranged unit here to destroy these gold mine statues. And we are on our final turn. We only have seven turns to actually deal as many, uh, destroy as many statues as we can. So in this case, we'll just destroy these ones over here. And we got 800 gold, exactly. That's not too bad, considering we had uh, we had 14 when we just came out. So 50% oh, extra gold, so that's cool. Uh, we'll check out this Hall of Fame here. This exclamation point means that there's something to change. In this case, in this, this Hall of Fame is actually the same thing as this fight over here. So we'll claim our wind chest, or we'll claim our rewards over here, get some gold and some units. Uh, sure, we'll keep going. Fight some stuff. Okay, we're going to start with our unit here with the high attack. Also has their, oh, it doesn't have a skill. It's so confusing to figure out which one of these are at level one and whatnot might actually be destroyed because of that. Uh, continue with the units with the high health. And since this unit has too much health, uh, we're not going to actually spend time to destroy that unless we have units in the way. So in this case, we'll be over here. We'll do our skill, yeah, as mentioned, so that we can deal enough damage to destroy this. And then we're going to place this unit behind here. Actually, no, we're going to place this unit over here. So we can spread out the damage in case one of our units does get blocked. We don't really have much of a defense, so we're just going to try and rush the attack to the Warlord as much as we can. Uh, place this over here so we can balance out the number of damage. We don't want to put too much damage on one particular line because if that line gets blocked, we're going to miss out on average damage. Alright, so we have this. Don't think anything else. And no combat tricks over here. So we'll just do our combat, and there we go. Let's get, a, get some water here. All right, we'll claim our wind chest so that we can get some more rewards. That is very confusing. All right, uh, so our skill only does three damage at this point. Uh, will we need to pick this off? Maybe. Nah, whatever. We'll just go for damage. If we get punished and we end up losing because of that, it's not a not a big deal. All right, we'll summon our unit with the higher health. Do these have a skill to? They do have their skill. See, deals three damage to our units. All right, so it looks like we are taking a little bit of damage. So we'll use our skill, and we're going to continue with summoning our attackers once again. Nice. Yeah, so the reason why they didn't use their skill is because they didn't have enough damage to destroy our units because of the higher health. Right. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with the same strategy over here. Uh, this one has slightly less health with their 5 versus the 6, but should be good enough to at least keep it alive. Uh, continue on. Summoning here with the higher health, and then also spreading out the damage over here. So just a little bit of back and forth. We are going to be taking a little bit of damage because we left this lane open. But uh, at, at certain points, when they deal, when we have enough damage to threaten their Warlord, we don't have to worry so much about defense. So 639, so not quite enough yet. There's actually, no, there's, there's enough here. What am I thinking? It is suggesting that we use our skill, but we have enough damage for lethal right on the board. 
Nice. We completed Fury, whatever that means. I think that's just a, what do you call it? A bonus chest. All right, so we did move up to League 28. We have a little bit of changes here, so now we can get some more souls. We'll have a new squad slot, so that means that we'll have another space to put a unit in our, our army, squad, whatever. And then all of these units are now accessible in chests if we do open them. This purple one here is an epic. So that uh, there are four types of rarities in this game. There are common, rares, epics, and legendaries. We don't have legendaries quite yet, but we did have access to them from a previous uh, league, which we can actually go back to. Uh, we have rares, and then oh, we have an upgrade. We can get some more friends. Great. So it looks like we they sent us back to our squad, gave us a chest as reward, got a new unit, so that's cool. And then they put in the new unit for us. Uh, do we want to upgrade our warlord? Nah, I mean, we're doing fine. We don't need to really give a uh, health, health boost to it. <clears throat> so uh, every, was it every five or six levels, we will get an increase into their skills. And as you see, as we go up the ladder, we'll get some more damage, more uh, health and attack for our units, and then attack boost over here. But for now, we're just going to hold off on leveling the Warlord, and we're only going to hold off on leveling these units too until later on. Uh, will this matter? Yeah, we'll compile our units, sure. Give us the strongest units possible for now. Uh, you don't want to do this too much as a default, just because after a while you'll have other units are, that are in play that will help your squad a lot more. So the strongest units in your squad may not necessarily be the best units, but for now, since it's kind of early, we'll just keep on doing that so that we'll have stronger units. All right, so we'll name some chests. All right, looks like we completed... Con uh, collected 10 unique souls, so we'll actually close that out. Is there a spot where we can collect it? Mm, not quite. Just going here, seeing if there's a, some extra stuff. Oh, we have quests. Quests are cool. Okay, so uh, in quests right now, there are two. There are a couple things. So they have these things called daily quests, which happen every 24 hours. They have these weekly quests over here that happen every seven days, and then they have these epic quests. These epic quests are quests that happen whenever you start the game, as we just saw, and they're always permanent. And as long as you fulfill their requirements, they will give you some, they'll all give you gems. And as you see here, when you go up to higher leagues, you'll have other quests to complete and they'll give you more, some more gems. So we'll actually claim these, just get them out of the way because the notification is gonna come up uh, every time we don't claim. Claim these. We will then also claim the rewards here for our daily chest. So we'll claim these. Get some rewards. Ooh, new unit. All right. Uh, we have others over here. We have collect gold mine. We did gold mine one time. What happened? It didn't count our gold mine. That was so weird. Uh, well, we can do this claim gifts in journey two times, so we'll go back to journey and then you see this little pile of rewards over here. So this is actually our journey journey rewards. So we'll click that <clears throat> and they get a little bit of uh, experience to our warlord and gold, get some cards, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, looks like we leveled up our rank and we got some gems as a result. And then we also claim those gifts. So now we'll go back to our quest, claim this, and then open up this chest over here. I was hoping we could get a new unit, but that is okay. Uh, let's check out the shop, see if there's anything new for us here. So we can buy some stuff over here with some gems. We can also buy this musician, I guess. Or actually, no, uh, if we get to League 25, we'll get this unit for free. We're going to hold off on spending our gems. Not only uh, do we not have enough for this, we uh, we want to save our gems for some other big stuff because we know that later on that's where gems are going to be the most important. All right, so we will go back to... Let me see here. Okay, we have to defeat that guy in order to get some stuff. We'll claim some stuff here. Can we go back to the other leagues? Okay, yeah, so we can. So we, uh, we started in League 30. And we're currently in League 28. We were able to... Okay, so we do have access to at least one Legendary, so that's cool. We just need to unlock it from a chest. So we have this unit here. 
and then we have some other units here and we get some friends all right let us go to the journey and see if we can beat that or not <laughs> we're not going to beat all of journey we're just going to try and beat uh the um, chapter one because of this uh this set of quests over here or not this set of quests over here sorry that's a gem fund that's something different that's going to give you some more gems whenever you defeat each chapter of the journey we have to beat journey as soon as we can we have 24 hours to get through chapter one and as you can see here there are some rewards that we do want to get these gems are going to be most important but this gold is is not too bad and then also these extra chests over here they have these premium trophies that you can get if you end up spending creds because we're in congregate so we can get some extra stuff but as of right now we're just going to keep this as free to play as possible actually no we're for sure we're going to keep it free to play because we want to spend extra stuff on at least this account all right so we will then continue on our journey looks like we have the stick battle and we also have the option to skip it but uh you know we're since this is part of journey we are going to run through it so we'll do the battle and just have to go in the right order so 15 is less than 10 uh 20 is less than 25 40 20 and then the 100 over here and there you go like i said before you don't have to defeat all of those stick figures you just need to defeat the big boss all right got some experience got some well we got some commons so that's cool all right moving on a journey okay let's take a look we can actually take a, like, take a look at their uh warlord this time so just some health and then we can take a look at their units so they have no skills just some health no skills no skills and no skills oops actually ah British there was skills all right so it does have a little skill so it gives plus health to one of their units that's fine all right let's go all right we will start with our unit with the high health and then also it has another skill so it summons another unit behind themselves to attack so that'll be good this will be our strongest unit so far with this combination of eight damage <laughs> right, we will continue on with our unit here gives a little bit of a uh, plus attack to our order units so in this case these units over here you can see if you click on their unit uh this symbol here it says that they're order so that is why they got an attack boost all right uh, do we have enough for lethal six to eight eleven so not quite enough yet but we'll use our skill to actually get rid of these so don't have to worry about that and we'll summon this unit behind normally we would summon it here for some spread out damage which i guess would have made more sense because they're so close to lethal but we're just doing this so we can get some extra protection and any one of our units anyways could summon and destroy them the story <laughs> we're attacking this village All right so we achieved rank three so that's cool got some gems gems are always good and we are moving on okay number four ify sharpshooter all right no skills no skills no skills plus health to one of their units and then no skills all right let's go All right, so once again, we will start with our unit with the higher health and the extra attack from our range unit. <clears throat> I don't think their units are going to be too much of a problem. So we're going to just go with the extra attack. I'm going to spread this out over here. And we summoned it over here because we don't want to put it in front of this extra attack rune to deal extra damage to our unit if it does get attacked. So like I said, I want to spread that out. Uh, will they have enough for lethal? No, and we don't have enough to destroy them over there. We'll summon our, actually no, we'll do this here. We'll do our damage. We'll give an attack boost to our units. And then also destroy this over here. And now we have enough damage at this point where we can just do the lethal. Go back to the chat here can i go to the okay great no 
Okay. Uh, that, so another journey boss here. It's like we're at this new one over here. And yeah, we've already been tapping on the character to know more about him. We do know about the skills, which we're trying to showcase from the previous battles. All right, so whenever one of their units comes into play, they'll get plus attack. We can also look at their units as well. So whenever one of heal, whenever heal happens on their side, it'll give plus attack to their units. No skills, uh, plus attack to order units on their side for a turn, and then no skills over here. I guess this will be our first real challenge in the journey. So yeah, let's let's go. Right, so we'll start again with our unit with the high health and the attack. We know that their units over here. You can actually check out their skills by clicking on them here, and then you can also click on their uh, symbols here to see what their skills are. So we're going to continue on looking at their skills. So they have plus attack whenever heal triggers on their side. We're going to continue with a unit with the high health, and we're placing on this health rune over here, so it gets more health for blocking. Oof, that extra damage. All right. Uh, we'll use our skill to mark these for damage, and then we're going to summon this unit to destroy this, and then also give an attack boost to our units for a turn. And we do have lethal in two of these lanes, so as long as they're not both blocked, we should be good. Let's see if we can actually change stuff here. Oh, okay, great. We do have access now to the settings menu. So in the settings menu, you can do a couple things. You can change the speech from on to off, so no more of those bubbles. We're going to keep those bubbles on just because we're going to keep uh, the integrity, quote unquote, of the game. We're going to actually change our speed settings here from 1 to 2, so it makes things a little faster. Uh, we're going to keep the sounds off, and we're actually going to not skip the turn. We'll do our summons, and we'll go from here. Feels much better that we can actually uh, do stuff in real time. <laughs> All right, so we did defeat this nameless minstrel in Journey, so that's good. That check mark means that we completed the quest, and most likely too, it means that is, there's something that we can claim, so we will do that. As you can see here, we got a little bit of increase in our rewards. Every time we defeat a journey boss, we'll get a little bit of, uh, uh, what do you call it, increase in rewards that we can claim. We got an exclamation mark over here. We can claim our extra gold. As we, uh, so as you can see here, these numbers here, they represent which level of the journey that you've been. And so we actually defeated number five. And so that is why we can claim our rewards over here. There are 30 of them. We're going to get through these as quickly as we can. Or if we can't, then you know, that's fine. So we'll close out here and go back to the Path of Hero. And then we'll claim our rewards here. Looks like you can only <clears throat> you can only do these in the order that they suggest. So in this case, we'll have to now defeat this win against other players three times. Uh, can we do that right now? Yeah, we'll hold off on that. That's actually, hmm, is there... I'm going to have to do some skipping back and forth, especially since these particular uh, bosses. So these here, they come with, uh, you have to beat these journey bosses in certain order. So oh, looks like we will have to do this in, in the order that it, it's looking for. So we'll have to defeat other players three times. These battles aren't too bad anymore. So we'll do that. Don't want to level up anything yet. And then we'll just continue with our, our, our battles here. Okay, they're telling us about the auto fight option. I would not recommend it until your units are in, uh, they have very good stats. Can we, can we turn off this auto thing? Oh yeah, we're going to turn off the auto thing so we can just battle on our own. Uh, the reason why I said, uh, for, for two reasons. So auto fight will let the computer do the battles for you. And then also, um, well, I don't recommend it because sometimes the computer will put it in spots where it doesn't make sense. And then also, since you don't have control of where you want to use your skills or your other units, so I would actually hold off on that. So that you can see right now, look, we, we're in a spot where we're already behind in units. Uh, we'll summon over here. And we're going to destroy these units next turn. Uh, we're not so worried about the damage over here 
because they can't get through lethal. But we'll do our skill and then we'll do our summon. And there we go. Okay, looks like we claimed another, uh, what do you call? Another quest. So we'll go back and do that. Where is it at? It is on our quest over here. Oh, okay. Our epic stuff. So we'll claim our epic rewards, get some gems. Is there another one down here? No, there isn't. Got to defeat two more people. So we'll do that. All right. Like I said, we're going to hold off on doing the auto battles because our units are too weak and we want to make sure that we can do our summons in the spots that we want to summon them in. All right. So combat and combat. Unit has the extra summon over there, so we don't have to worry about that. Summon our unit here with the higher health. And we don't want to use our attack boost quite yet because we're going to be wasting damage if we do that. Okay, so they summon their unit here again with the extra, what do you call it? The extra unit in front of themselves. Do that over here, get some extra damage with our units. Uh, do we have enough for lethal? We do not. So we'll have to wait it out another turn. Summon this over. Oh, we can destroy this. Yeah. So we'll actually do our skill to then have enough damage to destroy that. Get some damage over here. And then we'll have this lane open so that we can deal the damage over here. And if we're blocked, we can summon another range unit, but they just surrendered. So that's, that's fine here. Got to defeat one more boss so that we can continue on that path of heroes. Do our summon. And the reason why it looks like we're, we have this in our opening uh, four every time, it's because our squad count right now is at five, as opposed to the normal eight that you get when you get into a higher league. Uh, do we need to block? I think we actually, yeah, we might actually need to block here. So we'll summon this unit here. Yeah, we'll summon this unit here to block. Uh, yeah, so normally uh, you have up to eight slots to fill. The max is eight. Uh, when you start with four, and we have five. So there is a good chance that out of our five units that we have in our squad, we'll end up drawing that uh, unit over here. Is this going to be our first loss? Oh, man, this is going to be our first loss. I can't believe it. Sure. All right. Uh, we'll summon our over here. Block for some damage. But I think we're going to be taking lethal here. We have five, six. Yeah, that's 13 right there. Yikes. Oh, man. Everyone gets one loss anyways. It, it starts from the beginning. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. So a defeat. That is fine. We, it looks like we didn't go down in our uh, ranking over here. So whenever you win, you get trophies. And those trophies will help you promote to the next league. Uh, like I said, we do need to defeat somebody, so we'll keep going. First loss. Oh, no. <laughs> we might have to actually level up our heroes because we are, what do you call? Yeah, we're heading up in the leagues, and uh, we don't have any new units aside from those uh, rares in common. All right, so we have that over there. We have these units that just have, well, they don't have skills, but we can deal the damage, destroy those. So we'll deal the damage. Combat over here, we'll destroy that. We're going to put this actually here, but behind here, so we'll get some protection. And then we should have lethal next turn because of the extra damage over here, and then these summons over here. Looks like we completed a quest. Win battles against other players six times. And we also won against the other players three times. So we'll claim this. Claim our rewards. Get some gems and move on. Claim gifts and journey five times. Oh, that's easy. We can just go back to the journey. Do that. Click on here. And claim these. Oh, we got a new unit here as well. That's cool. All right. Did the claim. So we'll now go back to the path of heroes. Gain the reward. And now the next one here is to defeat Arthur Gore in Journey. Have we beat them yet? Well, it says no. 
So I'll uh, leave that. We're just going to claim some extra stuff, get these gems. We're on our way. <laughs> All right, we will go to the journey because we need to defeat that. But before, we're going to go to our squad. We know we got a un new unit, so we're actually going to put that in our squad. Make our squad a little bit better. And we actually have six slots now, so we have some more choices for units. Checking out this unit here. Gives plus attack to units in the line. That's cool. All right. We're going to go to the journey. And then see if we can fight the Arthur Gore, which I believe is, is it here? Well, we won't know. This is one of the pitfalls of the new journey setup is that you can't figure out which uh, people you're going to be fighting until uh, much later. So going to number six here, got a stick battle, which we will do because they're simple and they're fun and <laughs> they're so out of place in this game. <laughs> All right, uh, so as I said, we just need to, uh, all, all we need to do in order to get this done is have our units with the, um, as long as our number is bigger than this number, we're good. Uh, so for those who are tuning in right now, uh, we are doing some old school journey stuff, I guess, because we started a new, new account. So we're just running, doing a, like a run through uh, from the very beginning. So we're going to help out some of the newer players and then people will just want to see some stuff uh, that we haven't done before. So we're doing that. Uh, we did some Dark Tower, we did some Divine Arena, and then we also did some League. And uh, yeah, we're just doing this little uh, stick figure thing in the in the meantime. It's so wild seeing seeing how this game has changed over the past couple of years. All right, so we have this done. Got some rewards. I think our Warlord leveled up, or our, our rank leveled up, so we got some gems. So that's cool. And we're going on. We're currently right now on the path of heroes to defeat uh, some guy named Arthur Gore. But we're facing this guy named Lansdorn. He has no skills, so that's cool. No skills over here. Just checking out their units. No skills, no skills, and plus health to one of their units. So that's fine. We will battle, and let's go. Sure. All right, so you know, here with the extra health, and the extra attack. Okay, we don't want to use our skill quite yet because we don't have to worry so much about this. So we will summon our unit here. Next turn, I'm going to be summoning this unit for sure. It's just a matter of what I'm going to be doing. So I'll do our skill to deal damage. And it says plus attack to units in the line. It does not give an attack boost to itself. So just stuff that is behind it. But it has enough health here as well, so that'll help us out here. We have lethal here with the damage, damage, and damage. You're, you can't talk about mistresses in this game. What are you doing? For teenagers. Although I guess if you sign up for, uh, for this game, you have to be 18 plus. The terms and conditions are very bizarre. All right. Uh, can we see the map? Let's see what this map looks like. Can't scroll out one, two, three, four. Oh, you can't see the next island. That's sad. All right, let us keep going. Got this ad. I'm not even gonna pronounce the names. All right, so plus attack. <laughs> uh, whenever one of their units comes into play, uh, no skills, no skills, no skills. And is there skills here? Nope. Oh, okay. Plus attack to one of their units. So a little bit of attack boost to their units. We'll have to keep that in mind, make sure that we can get rid of their units. All right, so we'll start with our unit here. Next turn, we're going to be... Oh, ooh, some extra damage, as we said. But we can get rid of them using our, our skill. So that's fine. Uh, yeah, this is probably good enough to get rid of their skills. because We don't want to take 17 damage. So we'll do our... Just summon our unit with the attack. And then we have lethal over here. Water. All right, some more stuff, some more everything. All right, moving on. All right, taking a look at their skills. So no skills. Taking a look at their units. Oh, plus health to units uh, in the line. Some block. So no skills and plus health. Uh, even with their skills right now, they haven't been such a big threat. 
Uh, aside from that, actually, that previous battle where their attacks was kind of big. But other than that, our battles have been pretty straightforward, especially in the journey. League, not so much. We actually did experience that loss, but that is okay. We, uh, we haven't upgraded any of our units, save for the ones that they told us to upgrade. So this unit has block, and so what block does, it, re it reduces the damage uh, whenever it gets attacked. So you need to factor in that block when it comes into play when you're dealing damage. So in this case, 2 minus the 2, as seen here, will actually bring it to 0 attack. And so you actually want to factor in for every attack that's coming in. So since we're going to be able to attack it 3 times, we need to do 2 times 3, so that's 6 plus 12, that's 18. So we won't actually have enough damage to destroy this, even though we do summon our unit over here. Does this one give an attack boost? It does not. So as you can see, it does reduce it by a little bit, so that's unfortunate. Uh, still fours too, so that won't be enough to destroy that. We could do that. It'll still end up wasting the... Yeah, that's fine. We do want to keep this unit, so we'll do our storm. The storm skill actually goes through block, so it, it ignores block, so we can just deal our damage over here, and then the damage over here will destroy this. And we'll continue with summoning our unit with the attack. So no damage, damage, and then damage over there. Okay, this unit doesn't have block, so that's cool, but we will summon our new unit over here. So it has some health, and then gives an attack boost to our units over here. That's cool, and then we have some defense over here, and we can summon this unit here with the extra unit to then deal with lethal. Somebody just send me a text, what is going on here? Okay, I'm gonna ignore that because that isn't really helpful. All right, so we are now in our next journey boss. Hey, and we're in Arthur Gore now, finally, the guy we need to beat. So let's check out their skills. So whenever it comes into play, whenever a unit comes into play, it gives them plus health, uh, plus attack to their units for a heal, no skills, but some decent health, uh, plus health for units in the line, and then some block, which we're gonna have to get rid of. All right, let's go. All right, we're fighting Sir Arthur. Let's do it. All right, we'll start with our summons down here. We're going to want to put units down on the bottom so that they can avoid taking the damage as much as they can. As a unit here with the high health, we'll place our range unit over here. Deal that lethal damage. Okay, and now we know that they have this unit with the block, so it's actually going to reduce our damage over here. But we have our unit that gives plus attack. Should be enough here. There we go. Cool. So we'll have lethal over here. We're going to continue summoning our units here with the high attack. We didn't want to summon it on this uh, line because it uh, does have this attack rune, but that's that's fine. So once again, we'll have the block damage. So it won't be enough for that. We'll put another unit tag. Well, we can't even block because this unit has enough attack to destroy that. So we'll, just, we'll spread out our units and put this over here. Oh, I forgot. You know, even with the block, it still work. So that's fine. We we did this correctly then. And we do have lethal because we did spread out our damage along the line. So that's good. Okay, we did achieve rank 5. So that's good to do. And then we also defeated that Arthur Gar uh, Gore in the journey. Got some gems. Gems are nice. Pathetic idiot. Okay. All right. Oh, it looks like we have some stuff to claim. So we'll do that. We'll claim our commons over here. Nice. All right. We're going to claim our reward from Path of Heroes. And then we'll move on to the next quest over here, which is to level up heroes four times. So it looks like we will have to level up some stuff. Uh, it says level up heroes. I believe you can also level up the warlords. So we'll do that instead. So we can get some extra skills. So we have, uh, we'll level up him once. Will this count? It does count. So leveling up a warlord uh, and leveling up one of your units does count for this. So we'll do that. So number one, number two. And we can level them up again if we want to deal some extra damage. 
we yeah, well, I guess we'll level up our rares. That makes sense. And we'll get an extra skill, so that's cool. So that should be number three. And then leveling up this one here should be number four. Okay, when it dies, it gives plus attack to our units, so that's cool. Uh, can we actually do evolve? Yeah, we can't even do evolve until 19, which is super crazy. I'm so not used to not having these uh, other things that uh, we, other modes that we can do. So we'll claim our stuff and then we'll move on to the next one. So we need to defeat Otto the Miller in Journey. I assume that'll probably be in the next five levels. So we'll continue on with our journey over here. And more stick battles. All right. So like I said, you just need to defeat the ones that have less numbers than your troops. Uh, also have to do this correctly because there are certain orders that you need to go through so we just need to get it to 100 uh, so we'll do this one here okay and then 85 plus 25 makes it 105 and then we can defeat the big boss man over here and there you go i wondered if you if you defeat all the stick guys if you, the stick men if you get uh, extra rewards but I mean, the difference right now is not going to be so much, even though we are just starting out. We're going to face this Darion Blade, number 12. Taking a look at their skills. So no skills, just some health. Uh, plus health to their, or plus attack to their units when they heal. Some block, some plus attack to their order units. Oops, where's that other one? Misclicked over there. And then, ooh, an extra archer behind themselves. So a little bit more of units that we have to face. Okay, they have a building, so we'll take a look at that. No skills over there. And then we have our own building here that has a little bit of block. Um, I think we're still going to stick with our strategy and just rush them as quickly as we can because we don't really have units with high enough health aside from this one and then the other one with the plus attack to our units. So we're just going to rush their board and then go from there. And if that doesn't work, we'll try it again, and then we'll change our strategy. All right, so we'll do that. Continue on with our... Hmm. Yeah, we'll summon our, our melee unit here with the higher health. We did want to save the attack boost for other ranged units, but right now, like I said, we're just going to try and race on their board and see if we can take them out from there. All right, so we have that over there. We have some damage going on over here. We're going to do our storm skill. So we can then destroy this in combat, and then we're going to place this unit over here. Give this a little bit of health because of their skill over here. And now they have to deal with us in terms of the damage over here. So let's see here. It's got damage, damage. So not enough to destroy that. Six and eight. We need seven damage. We're currently at... Uh, we only have six. All right. So I guess we'll have to block. We'll do that. Uh, yeah, we'll summon our unit with the high health to block over here. Destroy that. Destroy that. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty close right now in terms of health, but we have a lot more units, and we do have, uh, lethal actually down here, so we'll have that, and we'll just summon this over here. Okay, some more stuff. And it looks like our rank did upgrade too. Or actually didn't. Uh, it looked like it did. Why didn't the bar fill up and then not do anything? All right, moving on. Got some skill here. Plus health to their units when they come into play. Plus health to their units in the line. Block and uh, plus attack to units with block. So actually it's going to combo off if they have any more block units, which they don't have here. And then plus health over here. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Looks like they have a little bit more health to their Warlord, too. And they have two more buildings, so let's check a look at these. So at the end of the turn, we'll deal damage to our Warlord. And then start of health, plus two uh, health to one of their units. This might actually be a time where to, we need to get rid of their, uh, what do you call it, their buildings, because that plus health is actually going to hurt us over, over time. So we'll summon our unit here with the extra unit behind to destroy that building. 
and we do have a couple of runes as well we have our 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 building here with spikes so what spikes does is whenever it attacks that unit it will return that damage so in this case if they attack the unit here with the spikes they'll take one damage all right uh you're here plus health continue on and we're actually going to summon a range unit here place it behind the building so we'll get a little bit of protection also give this building plus health as well and uh, right now we're not really doing a lot of combat damage with our units we'll do this over here give it a plus attack and so now at this point even though we don't have these lanes blocked for damage at this point because we have lethal going on the line we don't have to worry so much about uh, their units anymore <laughs> excuse me All right, mm -hmm. got it going. I think I'll probably get like a cough drop or something because my, my throat has been really scratchy this morning. So we got a new boss over here. No skills, just a little bit more of health. Take a look at their units. So plus health whenever, uh, well, being in turn will heal their units and then also heals their units immediately when it comes into play. Plus health. Uh, block and plus attack to units with block. Uh, mental shield. So mental shield is something new. Uh, so it says once defended against attack, skills are killed. So basically what happens is they'll get a shield. That shield can take any amount of damage, but then it'll be destroyed. And then after you can then attack the unit uh, again. And then we have this here block. All right, let's battle. I'm just going to get a cough drop in the middle of all this. Where are my cough drops? Here you go. Yeah. Hopefully this will be a little better. All right, so take a look at their buildings. So they have damage to our warlord. We have a block over here. We're not going to worry so much about their buildings right now. So we're just going to do our normal strategy here with the attacks. Doing some readjusting over here. All right, uh, do we want to get rid of this unit? It has block. It's going to also stop our units from attacking. Got to also factor in how much damage they're gonna be doing so two two so if we do that so at most we need to deal 18 damage which we don't currently have summon our range unit i guess in order to deal some damage to get rid of this also give some health back to our units so that's good i just factoring their block so damage so it won't be able to destroy that from there but the next damage will destroy that we're going to continue with our range unit over here because it already has some extra protection as opposed to us summoning the melee unit to block over here. Okay, so this will be a good time for us to summon our melee unit, give the attack boost over here, also guard our units. And looks like things are okay in terms of what we have in terms of our board. Uh, so just the block again, should be able to get rid of these because then the block is only two. So that'll put it at 17 and we'll have our damage over here. Oh, actually 17, oh, okay. 17 with our storm will actually help us out over here. We'll do our extra summon. Oops. Give me my extra summon. Here we go. So damage, damage, damage over here, the damage here, and then combat for lethal. Thanks, game, for telling me that I should use a storm skill. <laughs> Although they would tell me to use a storm skill on every turn, even though I can't kill something on certain turns. Okay, upgrade the rank. That's cool. All right, are we are at the Miller guy yet? We are. All right, great. 
All right, let's take a look at their skills. So at the end of the turn, we'll give spikes to their units. So that means that we'll take a little bit of reflect damage. We want to make sure that we can get rid of their units so that they don't get the spikes. Take a look at these units. So it gives block to another one of their units and then also has spikes. And in here it gets plus attack whenever it attacks. Got some spikes. Uh, it gives more spikes. And then give plus health to their melee units. So that'll combo with their other units that get the spikes. This will probably be a the first real challenge that we'll have in Journey. Because it looks like they have units with high health and spikes for reflect. So will we want to deal with their dam their units? We'll find out. Grassy. Alright. Alright. Uh I, I just want to double check. You know, sometimes we forget. Alright, and we have our building over here that gives plus attack to one of our units. So we want to keep this building alive if we can. So we're actually going to avoid some uh D65. Yeah. Yeah, we'll summon our unit over here to guard. Normally what I would want to do is summon a unit on another line so that they would have to quote unquote deal with that unit and then allow our building to stay alive. But for the time being, we'll just do this. So we have that, 4, 11. Uh, so we'll destroy that. That deals as much damage as we can over here. So we'll summon this over here. That spikes damage. That is really going to start coming to play. So as you saw right now, their unit with the high health. Their units here with the spikes. Ah. Mm, do we want to do this quite yet? Sure. Because we need to find a way to get our, our building. Our, what do you call it? We need to get our, our, our units back into play. So, uh, moving for the camera there. All right, so we have that over there. So we're not going to be able to take care of this unit because it has enough spikes. So we're going to have to spread out our units. Summon this over here. Might have to upgrade our units too, especially since they have units with high health and that spikes damage that we can't really get rid of. Got that spikes damage going on over here. So I end up destroying that. Hmm. Oh, we can give health to our units, so we'll do that. I just wasted that attack rune. Oh no, because I thought the plus health was going to be for that unit too. Oh boy. All right, all right. Well, let us continue on. Summon this over. Uh, we got to summon units with high health. That's a big problem. But we also want to deal as much damage as we can so we can avoid the... Uh, what do you call? So we can take less turns against their, their units with the spikes. Eventually, since their units have high health, they can just overwhelm our board, and that's something that we do not want to happen. So we want to get rid of this next. Oh, that's eight spikes. Wow, that's actually pretty pretty damaging. Mm. Just trying to see if we can get the get through to their warlord without having to deal with their units with the high health. And looks like we deal eight damage. No, we cannot. We made a misplay at some point with summoning uh, on top of that, that attack room. So let's see here. Damage, damage. Nope. All right. Unfortunate. We will try that again. Thanks, game, for rubbing it in. <laughs> All right. Well, we will upgrade our stuff if we can. How are we upgrading? They won't tell us. They just said, go back to fight. That's so rude. All right. Let's see. Can we actually upgrade any of our stuff? We'll go to our quest and claim some stuff because uh, of the exclamation points. Don't want to buy anything quite yet. Uh, can we upgrade anything? We could upgrade our common, but like I said, we kind of don't want to do that. Um... Yeah, you know, we'll take another swing at it this again. Just got to be a little more cognizant of the spikes that are occurring all the time. 
All right, and also since their units are going to have plus four spikes, so we actually have to hold off on summoning units with um, lower health. So that also includes this one here. Uh, damage, damage. Hmm. I was debating whether to summon this on the um, the attack rune over here. But this is fine. We'll have these spikes. It also has other spikes over here. We'll summon our units. See, damage, damage. So not quite enough there, but we will get extra health for our units, which is very important. So we'll do that. Want to make sure that we do have attackers available. Okay, so once again, the spikes over there. So spikes will actually destroy this over here, which is unfortunate. Do we have any skills for this rare? We do not, because we have not upgraded it yet. It is too early for us to actually use our storm skill, even though the game is suggesting that we do. So what we're going to do is summon our range unit over here. Just get some damage and also protection behind the building. We're just going to wait uh, for another turn. For them to summon a unit so then we'll do our storm skill so 13 so not quite enough for that we can hold off on even though this unit does give block it's fine uh, summon on the attack rune over actually no that won't make any sense hmm. all right we'll summon this over here actually spammers in the morning all right uh so this will actually be enough to destroy that uh we do want to get rid of this unit now even though we're going to be wasting the damage yeah that's fine uh you know, we we can take a little bit more damage that's fine we'll summon our melee unit here with the extra attack destroy that Okay, now is a good time for us to get rid of that unit. Then we're going to spread out our damage. We want to make sure that we still have units with a high health. We're going to be placing this actually over here so we can get as much damage going in. They're most likely going to summon a unit to block over here. And... Really wish we had some extra damage going on. So we have that over there. We have the spikes over here. So actually one shot both of these. Regardless. Might have run out of steam. Uh, so we kill that. Kill that. They're going to block. Attack, attack that. Don't have any more skills, that's a big problem. Can't take any more damage over here. Uh oh, you know what? Here, spikes plus that this little each unit will still be alive, right? Unless this has it's ten it's ten spikes. Yes, ten spikes. Alright, so regardless, it's gonna die. Alright, that's fine. nine damage over here gonna be oh yeah that spice is huge i don't think we'll be able to do it because we don't have that 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 now oh. we'll do this one more time if it doesn't work we will then start upgrading our units okay we're also gonna have to hold off on using our storm skill for another time I have a good feeling that we have to use this unit in a different way. So I'm going to not actually use it as a blocker, but more for an attack booster. So we'll do that. Uh, we're going to actually place this over here. So we have a choice to actually put the melee units in either this 
row or this column or this column. And we're placing it over here because we have this unit here with the higher, uh, what do you call it, the higher health. So that's why we did that over there. So six, so actually destroy that. 13, 10, 14, so not quite enough to destroy that either. Uh, well, we'll summon over here, get some damage going. We know that this unit is going to die next turn because of that spikes. Like I said, wanted to hold off on uh, what do you call? What was I gonna hold? hold off on something behind this building, but we actually have no choice in this matter now. Okay. So when that unit died, gave a plus attack to our units. So in this case, it's this one over here. Give a little bit of health boost over here. Uh, so 6, 15, we're very close to lethal right now, which is very good. And so what we're going to do is that damage over here. Oh, what we can do is this. So we'll summon our range unit to then deal as much damage as we can. And since they're at four, they'll need to block this unit, uh, this line. So they'll just place the unit here and then we can just attack and we should be good. Don't even need to use our skill at this point. We'll summon here. And there we go. Yeah, just uh, that one took a little bit of manipulation, particularly because they had units with the higher health and those spikes. But uh, yeah, some good combat and allowed us to get us through. Clearly, somebody. Nice. All right. Thanks for the the reminder. So it does tell you to get the premium trophies. You don't have to do that. You can play this game for free and it's okay. And we're trying to play this game for free anyways. So let's do that. So we'll claim our gems. All right. We are halfway through here. Uh, let's just go back to our squad. Hopefully we need to claim some stuff for the path of here. So we'll do that. All right, the next one here is get to League 27. We are, as you can see in the progress bar, we are at League 28, so we'll do that. We'll need to get one more win anyway, so let's go. Feeling good, feeling confident after beating that uh, journey boss. So we'll start with our unit here. It has unit with plus health for every ranged unit that, uh, when it was first coming into play. We're not going to deal combat to this because of the health. We're just going to hold off. Has their skill over here, damage to our units, and then no skill over there. Uh, do we have enough? Yeah, we'll 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 just go for damage instead. Right, so they have no skill over here. We'll do our storm to actually get rid of this unit, and then also have enough damage to destroy this. We'll continue on with our range unit over here. I mean, this unit a little bit of health. And then now we have lethal in two lanes, so we should be all set. All right, we did make it to League 27. I can see we get some stuff that's unlocked. We got this brawl mode, uh, so we can actually check that out. We have support support for soul requests so that means that you can actually request souls from other people uh, this is a misnomer you can't actually request legendaries and epics you can request commons and uh, rares so we'll do that uh, more souls new chest so we'll have a new rarity of chest that we can get in the league then we have these other uh units that can be on, uh obtained all right so let's go that got some rewards got a new unit so that's cool okay got the brawl uh, we'll send it over. It says training mode. You don't lose fame for defeats. Each victory brings you a random reward. Okay, you'll get a small reward after each battle. Uh, it's more than this stuff over here, and this one is actually not. <laughs> because this is only for uh, world events. 
All right, so they have uh, two things that are unlocked in the brawl in the uh, in the brawl mode. So you have this, you can just fight a random person, it'll match you up, and if you win, you get a certain reward. We'll just do a brawl. Uh, win or lose, we're just gonna check out anyways. So we'll do that. Do a normal summon. I can't wait to see who we're gonna end up fighting. All right, so just uh, no skills over here. So we'll keep going with our combat plan. We're actually going to summon this here to give a little bit of health to our units so we, we can avoid taking some extra damage. Uh, for those who are tuning in, we... Uh, how do I explain this? So <laughs> we started a new account to actually go through some of the early game stuff. So we, uh, we're doing a whole bunch of stuff with Journey. I mean, pretty much all the stuff that, that you can unlock in the later stages, we're, we're going it uh, through for step one. Uh, we also did some... We also did some Dark Tower, Divine Arena, and uh, some League. Uh, but yeah, today's main focus because today is Saturday, the whole fun day. So we're doing some new stuff here. Right, and we do have enough combat damage over here, so we can just avoid doing our skill. <clears throat> got our win. And we got some gold. Gold is always good. All right, so we're going to close that out. Uh, Excuse me, I gotta get some water after this. All right, so the other thing too here is they have that training mode. It says fight your own squads to find their weaknesses and prepare them for real battles. You don't have to use this too often, especially since uh, Brawl is already available. But uh, you can also, uh, you're pretty much going to be fighting your own copy of your squad. And that'll allow you to train some stuff. So we'll show you this for example. So we'll do that. There are no rewards for doing this. But you can, I can say you can just test stuff off out. Uh, test stuff out rather. Just going through some fake battles here. Also, uh, one spot in particular where this is actually useful, you can actually see how the skills interact. So later on, as you get more advanced units, you'll be able to see certain skills come up. And if you don't understand how they work or how the skills work and how they interact with each other, uh, you can check them out. You can put them through the training mode and then you can go through there and learn about how they, they work. So it's a, it's a pretty cool mode if you want to learn something new. But other than that, I don't find it too useful just because, I mean, you could be fighting other people and getting some rewards in the meantime. Go fake battle. Fake, fake, fake. And we're just going through this so you can see what it looks like. So we're just going to skip the turn here because we already have enough. Oh, do we have? Yeah, we had enough for combat damage over here. So six and four. So yeah, they did win. Hooray. And I was defeated. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That was that was rough. <coughs> Sorry guys, water down the wrong pipe. Alright, so we'll claim that. Move on. The new journey boss defeat. <laughs> oh man. All right, so we'll go to the journey. And we'll keep going. Alright, more stick battles. So we'll do that. And same thing. Gotta just defeat the are the troops with the lower cost or lower amounts. So 25, 20, 45. Let's just bring us to 85 over here. This should bring us to 145. And then that'll be enough to defeat the boss over here. Take another cough drop. Here. We have the good ones. Uh no, we only have we're left with the mediocre ones. Alright, so we have our uh battle over here. And we're moving on. Not a stick battle. Alright. So they have plus attack to their units when they come to play. Uh, whenever their warlord is attacked, heal their units. Plus block, and then some plus attack to units with block. Plus heal, or plus health to their units. Block. And then the plus uh, block over there. So it looks like their units are starting to get a little better. Uh, still not sure when we're going to upgrade our stuff. We've been kind of outmaneuvering them. So we'll do that. Plus attack to their units at the beginning. Do we want to get rid of that building? Mm. Hmm. Sure. Especially since they can actually start defending their units. 
So we'll place our unit here on top of this block rune. This block rune will give that unit that came into play block. So that's good. Okay, as you can see, they have that block. So plus four, so we actually won't be able to destroy that over here. So six, four, two, so not quite enough for damage. We've got to factor in the other block as well. So four, six, 14, so not enough to actually destroy that. Even with the 12, could do our combat. Actually, yeah, we'll do our combat. We'll do our storm skill now. So that'll be, what, two damage? And then this will here will be four damage over here. So that'd be enough to destroy that. No, this is no good. Gotta get rid of this one here. Uh, this one at block. It does have block. You can actually see from that symbol down there. And then we gotta factor that in. So two, four, that'll be 18. So not enough for that. Okay, damage over there. We're going to summon our unit here to give plus attack to our units and then also block for damage. Oh, this one's no good too. Yeah. Just going through some uh, cough drops I have down here. Uh, we're going to have, do we have to beat this unit? No, we're going to still go for combat. That's fine. Because eventually we can just overwhelm. So yeah. Even though this unit does have a lot of attack, we can we pretty much have lethal now, and they can't deal about 20-ish damage, so we're all set. Summoning another unit, and there we go. Okay, uh, moving on. All right, take a look at their Warlord skill. So no skills, just some health. Got some plus attack to their units on the heal. Got some pierce damage. Pierce is something new. So it deals damage to units in the same line as the target. So in other words, if you have a unit that is behind another unit and they get attacked with pierce, the unit behind the first unit will actually take damage. Uh, so yeah, that's something to watch out for. All right, we have plus health to units in the line. Some block again for that previous unit and then also block over here. So just a little bit more block. We'll have to make sure that we get some damage going on to their units. Oh, this one's bad too. Well, I guess maybe all of these are bad. All right. Uh, take a look at their buildings. So they have plus health to their unit, and then plus health to all of their units. This is a conundrum because we need to then get rid of their buildings, make sure that they don't wall us off by having units that are too high in health. So we'll get rid of their buildings first, and then then we'll focus on the damage to their warlord. Ugh, is this one. Oh man, I think these might be all, all bad. Right, so we have damage, damage, could do that. Really do want to get rid of their units uh, because of that. So we're actually going to lose a unit, but we'll do our combat, or we'll do our skill, and then we'll just do our unit here. Destroying that. When this unit dies, it will give plus attack to our units, so in this case it will actually help us out over here. All right, so we are trading off with their units. They have plus attack over here, 18. Just gonna factor in some math because we might not be able to get it done. So we'll have that, that, summon our unit over here. Spreading out the damage so that if one of the lines are blocked, we can then deal uh, lethal. All right, so we have that over there, seven. Okay, take the damage over here and we are good here for damage. Yeah, these are okay. I, I feel bad. All right. Okay, another journey boss done. Let us move on. All right, Jerry the Madman. All right. Whenever a unit appears, deals damage to them. Our enemy. So an enemy means one of our units, uh, because we're facing them. So we're considered the enemy. So damage to our units. Plus health, uh, plus attack to their units. No skill here. Some health. Plus health to units in the line. Got some block. And then plus attack to order units for a turn. All right, let's go.
All right, uh, plus health to one of their units. So we're gonna actually get rid of this. We'll summon our unit here and you'll see what the skill does. So it deals damage whenever the unit comes into play. But that is fine. That one damage shouldn't matter right now. All right, got the unit over here with the block and the attack. I'm gonna be summoning this unit over here. And like I said before, since we don't have too many units with high health, we're going to just go for as much damage as we can. So in this case, uh, now we're going to be trading off 12. Do we have enough? Yeah. So this will be one. And we just got to factor in the block. So we need to deal five damage to do that. All right, so we'll do that. And then five damage, as mentioned, will actually be over here. And we're doing that because at some point we can't trade with them in terms of damage. We will need to get rid of some of their units uh, eventually. So we'll do that. Summon this range unit over here. Also giving a little bit of health back to our units. And then as long as they don't block both of our lanes, we should have lethal. All right, so damage, 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 and we are good. So we'll just summon here. And we'll get it done. Uh, for those who are tuning in right now, we are we started a new account to go through some of the um, older in-game stuff, and then also help out some of the newer players in terms of you know checking out journeys, other quests, and other things. Uh, we also did some Dark Tower, Divine Arena, and uh, League, and uh, yeah, right now we're just focusing on this uh, newer account for now. We're gonna be getting this to we're gonna complete the uh, journey for Chapter One so that we can get the most rewards. And then we'll go from there. All right, taking a look at their skills. So they have plus health to their units. Wow, plus five. That's actually pretty big. At least relatively right now. So we have plus health there. Got plus attack to their units when it dies. Plus health to their units. More plus health. All right, plus attack for a building. And then plus health to their units. So may have to upgrade our units now because it looks like we might get walled off. Uh, when I say walled off, I mean to the point where we can't uh, destroy their units anymore because they're going to have too high of health. Uh, take a look at their building, so plus health over there. So we do want to get rid of that, and then their block. Boy, uh, I guess we'll summon this unit in terms of the health. Just wanted to also get rid of this building here as well so that they don't get the plus health to their units. So damage. Do we want to get rid of this? Yes, we do. So plus block over here. Don't think we're gonna be able to trade with their units, but we'll see what we'll see how this battle ends up going. So we're attacking this building over here so we can get some open lanes for damage. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to trade because their units have too high of uh what do you call it? too high of uh, health. So we're just going to do that building to then uh, we're gonna do our skill to get rid of the building here. And then we're going to place this unit over here to give a little bit of protection in the line. And then also whenever it dies, it gives plus attack to our units. Okay. Uh, they have their building here that's going to block for some damage. Also gives plus attack their units. Damage over here. We do need to block in this lane still. Just checking out their block. So we need to deal at least seven damage on one attack or nine damage on two attacks, which we don't have. But we can block for some damage, so we'll do that. And we potentially have lethal if this is not blocked over here. So damage, damage, damage. Oh, it wasn't blocked. Great. All right, we'll summon our range unit. And then we'll have our combat, and we're good. Okay, so we did defeat the Jack the Woodsman for our Path of Heroes, so we'll go back and claim that. Did they just talk about yellow in this story? Amazing. All right, we'll claim our rewards from this, uh, from the journey path here. We got 10 more, closing this out. All right, got this over here. Now, the next one here is to spend a 1,000 gold. All right, where can we spend 1,000 gold? 
Oh, you know, we can only spend it in uh, leveling up our, our units. We just claimed a reward over here. So there's this thing called playtime rewards. So basically what happens is <clears throat> uh, the longer you play, they will give you some rewards uh, as you keep playing. So it'll actually tell you what they are and they have it at these intervals over here. And apparently they re refresh. Oh, you know what? Because the reset. So there is a world reset that does occur, which will actually reset the playtime rewards. And then also the quests, they happen at, currently right now it happens at, so it's that, it's at 6 p.m. UTC. So that is the time in which the game revolves around. So probably should have been claiming those, but that's fine. All right, we'll spend our 1,000 gold, and we'll actually do that by upgrading some of our units. Can we upgrade any of our units? We can. Oh, we have this new thing for request. So uh, as we mentioned before, they had this thing called soul support. So that was a thing where you could actually request from other people. Uh, we could do that, but we don't really need these right now. Uh, we can request rares and commons. In this case, it could be potentially this one. We could, oh, we have a new unit here. We'll actually add that in. Compile, get stronger units. So as you can see, as we start to compile, we'll get units that have higher rarity, and those units with higher rarity typically will have better stats and better skills. So now we start filtering those out. Uh, do you want to filter? I think this is fine. We'll request this one. So you can request for a certain amount of copies and they can send them every 12 hours. If they have these copies, they may or may not send them to you. And this is based upon your friend's stuff, which we actually haven't done yet. We'll go and check that out. So this symbol here is the friends section and you can actually find friends. We'll do that. You can invite them by ID. We'll just do a couple of clicks over here. Just click all of them. <laughs> At some point it does run out. I think it's very, it's going to be very close. Sure, we invited everybody. And you're not stuck with the people who are in uh, League 27. Eventually as you league up, you'll have more stuff, uh, more people that they recommend that you can do. You can see your soul request right now. Oh, okay. Uh... Okay, well, we're gonna spend our gold, so we'll do that. We'll upgrade some of our units. We've got fifty. Will we actually have a, we have a thousand gold, right? We do have more than a thousand gold, and we'll just upgrade some of our commons here. Sure. Spend, spend, spend. As you can see up there, it is telling you how much gold that you will have to spend. Is there another thing going on right now? It says we leveled up something 10 times. Level up 20 times. Claim this here. Get these rewards. Get some more chests. Uh, oh, yeah, we have this thing. So there's a thing here. <clears throat> don't really see it here it's a little symbol it's called the mighty pass and so what happens is when you claim stuff from your well it kind of explains it right here so earn mighty points by completing daily and weekly quests you can buy the premium to receive rewards which we're not going to do at every milestone which is basically the numbers you'll get for every point and then you'll get your reward and then you complete the entire pass to get a medal the medal doesn't really affect anything it's just more of a aesthetic thing so we can hold off there all right so i'm gonna close this here and then we'll claim some stuff. So as you can see, we did, we have 250 points right now. We'll claim our stuff. We'll get some rares. That's cool. We got a new unit. And then we get some gold. That's cool too. Can we actually upgrade that unit? Yes, we can. So we will do that. Has a little bit of a skill. Whenever it dies, steals damage to units in the line. Get a little bit of health. And right now we have 410 of a part of a thousand gold. Not even sure if we'll have enough. We'll do it anyways at this point. Really didn't want to upgrade these units because we're probably not going to be using them uh, anymore, but we'll do it anyways. Stop telling me I have leveled up heroes 10 times. Am I, I've already done that. Is that enough for those quests? All right, got those done. We're, go back to our squad, see if we can still level them up. 820, so we're close to getting that done. Give me 900. 950, and we are good here. So that's cool. We'll do our compile once again to actually get stronger units. 
and we'll close that out. I don't know if you guys actually saw it here. So even though uh, it says right here that these units are the strongest ones, it goes by this thing called might. So as you can see here, there's a little might symbol. And every, every time you end up leveling those units, they'll increase in might. And so that is how the game decides that those are your strongest units, which again, they may or may not be based upon their stats and whatnot. So you can see here, this unit has a lot of attack right now, but it has very little health. So that's not really too helpful for us, but yeah, we'll go with the compile. And uh, if we have to make changes, we'll make changes. This unit is actually still pretty good though. See, as you see here, this one has 120 might. But it only has two attack. It has a lot of health, though. What happened to our... Oh, you know, see? They took out our good units. So, for example, this unit here, the one that has the multiple attacks. So, or not the multiple attacks, but the summons. So we'll keep that back in there. And then we'll actually... Yeah, four unit two damage. Seeing if that makes sense. Kind of want to balance this out. Don't want to have too many uh, melee units in our squad. Five damage, two damage, three in the line. This one's still going to be better. Ugh. All right. Whatever. Yeah, we're just going to try to make sure our army is as strong as possible because we are facing tougher bosses. So we'll do that. Claim. And we move on. The next one here to defeat the Moon Dew in Journey. Looks like we're going to have to do some more Journey. So we'll do that. And more stick battles. Hooray. Like I said, it's so out of place in, in in this game. At one point, they had these stick battles as part of the intro screen, which is kind of funny. Uh, so you think, oh, hey, is this game all stick battles? But it is not. So we'll do that. Keep on going. Got to go in this specific order. Because if we fight these, we'll be defeated. So we'll do our 65. Should be at 115 after the math. You can actually do the math just by adding them up. And then you have this one here. And we are all set. All right. Some rewards, some experience, and moving on. All right, next one here, take a look at their skill. So whenever a unit comes into play, it will deal damage to them. Deals damage to all units except chaos units. Uh, you can actually tell which units are chaos or not by looking at these symbols here. So this one here, this uh, skull looking thing, this is chaos. All right. So those units will take it. I think all of our units are actually, uh, aside from two of them, are actually chaos. Or non-chaos, rather. All right, so end of turn, summons a tree in front of themselves. Here, when it's attacked, it deals damage. Or whenever it attacks, it deals damage to one of our units. And also has high health over there. Has a tree that gives negative attack to our units. And then has a unit here that has vampirism. So vampirism is something new. So it says vampirism deals additional damage. So basically what happens is whenever they attack, uh, it'll go combat damage first and then vampirism damage next. And then that vampirism will also heal them for a certain amount. So in this case, it will deal extra damage of three after combat damage and then give plus three health back to the unit. All right, let's go. Okay. All right, uh, take a look at their buildings. So they have plus health to their units, spikes, and then plus health over here. We're gonna get rid of this building first. And we're gonna start with our unit here. It even, wow, it says melee. It tells you it's melee, that's cool. All right, so whenever it's attacked, it will deal damage to one of our units, uh, one of their units rather. And we're gonna, like I said, we wanna get rid of this building first so we can knock down the health. Uh, has the damage to units over there. We're gonna do this in combat. Uh, no. You know, our goal right now, we're going to stick units behind this unit so that if, that way, if they're trying to attack and destroy us, we'll have that uh, extra damage reflecting back to their units. Best case scenario, this four damage can go over here and destroy this unit. But if not, we'll summon another unit to block. All right, so we got that over there. Going to be taking some damage. I really wish our skill were upgraded, which... We can actually take a look to see if our warlord is strong enough to upgrade our skill. All right, so this is going to die in combat. This is going to die in combat. Oof. Uh, oh, oh, we can summon this unit again. See if that'll work. So right now we're just blocking for the damage. We are kind of behind in the amount of damage that we can deal. 
but we're gonna hopefully get some reflect damage to destroy these units so damage 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 there oh we are at six and we don't have enough to destroy this so we are out all right i'm gonna go back to our squad and see if we can upgrade our warlord skill so that way we can just one shot those those uh units so we'll go back to our squad we'll do our compile again make sure maybe they're strong enough we need to get this to uh we need to get to one uh our we need to get our total might over here to 1150 our total might is 1115 so we're a little off on there but we have to buy units at this point maybe maybe not i know that we can unlock something so we'll we'll try for that so we need to get this to league 25 in order to unlock this unit so we'll go back to the league get some stuff and it just crashed <laughs> all right sure all right well we'll restart and get it done uh for those who are tuning in right now we are currently doing a new account so that we can get some coverage for some of the earlier in-game stuff so you know just moving up from league journey stuff like that and then also we uh for our other account uh, the main one uh, we did some dark tower some divine arena some league and uh, yeah we're still currently in the world event we actually want to see if we can get this account to also level 22 by tomorrow because then then we'll have access to the high growth event so we'll get some gems over there even though we don't have any levels anymore because we had to level up all our units in order to actually increase their stats I mean, it's fine we'll 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 do what we can probably should have done that before but whatever all right so we gotta get the we gotta get to lee 25 to unlock that new unit and then hopefully that'll give us enough might to upgrade our warlord skill so that way we can just one shot those units with a four health. We're currently currently doing only three damage with our our storm, uh, our storm skill. Oh, we could we could unlock a new warlord too. That could be good. That would that would help us out. So we'll do that. But the key thing is that we need to now progress in league so that we'll have enough strong warlords for either damage or for health and then go back to journey and then continue from there but this is a fun fun time especially just going through the the older stuff seeing those stick battles those are <laughs> those are great all right so we're just having a little bit of lag right now just doing a little ticker here so we can know if the journey bar is still going or the progress bar is still going which it is so that's good All right, uh, so where are we going? we're going back to uh, League, All right? So we'll do that. All right, hopefully this is not crash. Really don't want it to crash. That would be that it's crashed three times already. We got a new unit, so that's cool. Claim. All right, good. Whew. All right, let us keep going in our League. Facing Superman. All right, uh, we'll start with our unit here. Uh, why? I've never seen it actually tell if it's a melee unit or not. All right, so that unit, uh, dealt game to play, deals damage to the units in the line. We're going to summon a unit with high health if we can, which in this case is only this one. Or actually, we don't even have to deal. We can, we can actually hold off on that because we'll use our storm skill to get rid of this. They reset our squad. These are not our units. I thought I took this one out. Hmm. I'll have to go back to our squad and see what's up because it looks like our uh, our squad units have actually changed. So we'll do our storm skill now to actually get rid of these three units. 
would have been those three units. What is going on? All right, so we'll summon over here. We're going to hold off on blocking for damage over here because we would rather deal the damage instead of going with, um, what do you call it? We Our units have low health right now, so that's why. All right, so we're going to continue. Can we take the damage? Five, seven, 15. It's close. Uh, I'm going to take the risk that they don't have a unit with uh, 8 attack. <clears throat> Which they do not. So that's good. We'll do our range summon and then we'll go from there. Okay. I need to change our squad. It looks like some of our stronger units are now gone. Which they were. <clears throat> so we'll get rid of this here. Get rid of. Guess we'll get rid of this unit. Put this over here. And this should be good for now. Take a look at this unit right here. Oh, it has a little bit of protection. That's good. Less damage. Yeah, this is fine. We'll we'll keep it as is. Right, going back to journey. Or league rather. All right, uh, not going to be able to destroy that yet, so we'll just summon our own units to deal some damage. Okay, looks like we'll have to summon our unit here to block as some damage to their units whenever uh, it gets attacked. So hopefully we can deal some extra damage and then use our storm skill to get rid of some other units. There's up there. Summon our unit here to block. Okay, took some damage over in the line because of this unit's skill. So damage, damage, damage there. All right, we'll use our storm skill now. And then we will summon this unit here. We get the trigger. Okay, but it doesn't look like we'll have the lethal. So have that, 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 that over there. Gonna have to block for damage because we are at six. But they have the open lane over here. If they summon something, we should be, yeah. All right. So that is unfortunate. Still need to find a way to upgrade our units if we can. We didn't lose any points in leak, so that's good. Uh, we know that one of the quests just finished, so we'll do that. Claim some more gems. The temptation to actually, uh, what do you call? The temptation to, and we're not going to send off souls. We actually need all of these right now. The temptation to buy a uh, league chest, or rather, um, what do you call? These chests here in the shop is pretty big, especially since we're just getting beat all over the place. So, but we are still going to hold off. We're going to resolve to get this done without spending gems, at least for now. Got some extra units over here. Got some stuff. Check our rewards. Okay. Uh, nothing going on. I wonder if the new reward codes. We can do the reward codes next time because most of them have either expired or they're uh, time sensitive. They're not time sensitive. All right. So we'll go back to the league. See when we get this done. We'll start with our units here for the damage. Uh, we're not going to trade with their units quite yet. So we'll summon this over here. Especially since we're going first, we don't really want to go into defensive mode because we're just wasting turns for not attacking. So that is why we're going on the attack route rather than the uh, blocking their units. So as you can see here, we uh, we do have threats for lethal block over here, and we can just summon our range unit, and we're good. All right. Looks like we only went up 15 points, so we'll have to get another three in order to level that up. Okay, 
Uh, they do have a different skill here, so it gives spikes to their to their warlord for two turns. They have their building here that is blocking. Uh, we'll summon here on the attack rune over here. We attack bonus to one of their units. And we're actually going to keep this building alive if we can. The reason why is because when spikes does occur, it will happen in such a way that it only triggers when we attack their warlord. So if you want to keep a particular unit alive, we'll summon a unit along this row here. We'll use our storm skill so we don't have to worry about those. And then, like I said, we will continue with our damage. Put this over here. Just want to give some extra health to this unit because of the spikes that should be occurring, but it has not so far. And we have lethal over there, so that is good. Some more stuff. All right, same thing with our summon. And like I said, we're going first, so we want to go as much offense as possible. We can hold off on there. We are holding off on destroying this unit because we can just destroy it with our storm skill. And we can also take the damage over here. That's fine. So that unit is destroyed. I'm gonna summon. We're gonna keep going for damage. But we want to make sure that we have decent damage, so we'll do that. Uh, next turn, we'll be doing our storm skill anyways to get rid of some stuff. Uh, but we don't even have to at this point because we do have lethal, so we'll do that. And there we go. Okay, we are out of chest slots right now. We could potentially buy them, but they do cost 49 creds, which we do not have. So we are stuck with just waiting for these chests to open, but we're not going to do that. Um, so we'll just hold off. Let me see if we can let me upgrade to something else. Yeah, we can try this. So even though these slot chests, these chest slots are locked right now because they have stuff in it, we can still do the fights. Uh, and you'll see what happens once uh, once we get this done. All right, so a little bit of damage over there. Uh... Don't think, yeah, we won't be able to destroy that. So we're going to have to go. Ugh. I don't really like how this unit gets the attack boost every time it attacks. So we're actually going to be behind in damage. And don't think we're going to be able to outrace them either. Ugh. I guess now we have to start blocking for, for damage. No good. All right, all right. That's fine. That's fine. Like I said, that unit from the start was already a big threat in terms of the health and then the also the plus attack. So we'll, we didn't lose any rank points, so we'll just we'll do what we're trying to do to show you what it, what it looks like. So we'll summon our unit with the high health. We did the same thing. Summon our unit here with the attacks and the extra summons. Don't want to attack this because of that reflect damage. And we'll keep going over here. Summon our unit here with the attack boost whenever it dies. Just doing some math here for 6, 12. What, 6, 12, 14, 16. So you gotta deal 5 damage. And we're good here. Okay, so as you see, we did get a win. We got some uh, league trophies. And then. We got some gold and the key thing here is that we don't have any more chest slots so we can't get the reward that's in here uh since it's only common we are actually not going to open it and if we do want to open it we have to pay gems i believe so we'll try it here so we'll open and you need two gems in order to, to do it we're not going to do that so we're just going to hold off we're going to not get our rewards here but we will get the league trophies which is the more important thing so that we can upgrade to league 26. Nice. So now a couple things have upgraded. We have this rating system. It's just a ranking system uh, that you'll see uh, you can compare to other platforms that you're on or on the world uh, compared to other players. You have the Soulbind thing, which is kind of cool. I think we'll be able to do it. Uh, we'll get into that. You got another chest slot. or oh, We got another squad slot, so we can put another unit, uh, more souls, and some more friends. All right, let me see if we can get, get the, um, the Soulbind done. So we're going to close this out. As you can see, the other 
thing is here for the squad slot. Sure. All right. So we're going to click on that. And we're talking about Soulbind right now, which is the thing. So Soulbind allows you to bind heroes, uh, which provides a permanent bonus to the skills. Uh, select a hero. So we'll click on the Soulbind. You need Dust. And so, no, you just did heroes and this stuff. So it says bind souls here. So we didn't see, we got a permanent upgrade to our units. And other units should have soul binds too. I don't, uh, this is okay health. Are we at the 1150? We are at the 1150, so that's good. So we'll actually upgrade our warlord skill. So now we can deal four damage. Lovely. Alright, uh, seeing over there, there, there. If we upgrade, we will potentially lose our setup, so we don't want to do that. We're gonna just organize this a little bit. We have five melee units in, in our squad. That's bad. Normally in your squad setup, once these uh once these squad slots open up to eight, you kind of want to do a mix of a half and half. Uh, the reason why is because if you have too many of one thing, you will end up not being able to summon in other spots. So ranged units can only be summoned in the first two rows. Two, and then the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Two, first two columns. And the melee units can only be summoned in the last two columns. So if you do that, you'll end up not being able to summon. All right, so we'll close that out. We got our upgrade, so that's good. Maybe now we can actually go to uh, the journey and start fighting. Got some more units. Units. Actually, uh, these upgrade fairly quickly. Let me see how many points is there. This probably is another five, so we'll do that. Because then if that's the case, we can get our new unit and then bring that new unit to the journey and then have a better chance of defeating the journey boss. So we'll do our summon over here. Summoning on the attack rune, so we'll get some extra damage. I'm not going to trade off with this unit because it has too much health. Right, we'll do our skill to actually get rid of this unit and then we're going to actually put this here to block for some damage and then hopefully get some reflect to destroy this unit all right and we did so even better this unit whenever uh we so whenever our warlord is attacked not theirs so it'll heal their warlord for a little bit of damage so that will slow us down a little bit we have our own version too so i guess we'll summon it and get some health back as well Oh, it's not just whenever this unit attacks, it's whenever we attack their warlord. So this unit will actually, well, this unit will be here to stay. So we have damage, 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 damage over here. We don't want to destroy this unit because this unit is triggering that reflect damage. So because of that low attack, it's actually good for us to not try and destroy this unit. And they got some health back, but we do have enough damage over here. So there we go. Your sword is indeed stronger. Right. So we got 15, so that means that we'll need to do another four of these. We're trying to get through these as quickly as we can so we can move on to the journey. Uh, start with our unit over here. We place this unit over here because we don't want to block this building because it doesn't really do anything for us. But we do want to have some protection so that we can use our extra attack rune over here. So four, four, that'll be eight. So not enough to destroy that, unfortunately. Could do that, and that won't be enough. I could do blocking the line. So actually, you know, six. No, that won't be enough either. Uh, really don't want to trade with their units. Ugh. Fine, I guess. All right, well, we'll have to destroy this unit first anyways. So combat will destroy that, and most likely another unit over here will destroy that. And I don't think we'll be able to get rid of this unit unless we have this. <laughs> so we'll reflex some damage. Hopefully you can get some extra damage over here. Then we'll use our storm skill to get rid of their other units. So damage, damage. Okay, so that'll trigger off there. Use our storm skill to actually get rid of these two units, and then oh, this will be good here. So this is fine. We'll give some health back to this unit, then destroy this unit, and now we're back on track in terms of attacking. We'll summon our unit over here. 
get the extra attack from this range unit to get rid of this. So reflect and reflect over there. And we'll place this unit again so that we can block for some more damage and reflect that damage. Feels weird having units with health again. Yeah, as you saw about maybe about an hour ago, we saw that our units pretty much didn't have any stats at all. Uh, do you want to do that? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah actually, we're not gonna we're not gonna summon a unit to deal the extra damage to that. And then we will also want to get some damage over here, so that we can we can threaten for lethal next turn. So we have block damage over there, and seven and six just need to deal that over here, and we're good. So we really got helped out by our reflect unit uh, with the high health and making sure that we didn't destroy those units so that we could get some, uh, what do you call, extra damage to their units. All right, uh, got some good options. We'll start with this unit over here. I guess we could have also just waited uh, next turn to do a storm, but for now, we just want to make sure that we can get rid of their units. Uh, got damage over here. Probably enough. Yeah, this is fine. I was thinking about summoning it on this attack rune over here. You can't really see it behind this unit, but it is here so that we can reflect some damage. Uh, got it over there. Place this unit here to block. And then also, when it dies, it deals damage to units in the line. That'll help us set up for our storm skill to then get rid of these two units. Okay, we'll do our storm to get rid of that. And then we'll get rid of this unit over here. And then we'll also get some health back for our units that are attacking. So then we'll be able to swing the board. And then we're not so worried about lethal anymore. Uh, I got six over here. So not quite. We'll summon this unit to get rid of this, get rid of this unit, and then also deal some extra damage. And now we are all set. We just got to get uh, another point of damage through the board. And there we go. All right, same thing. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're not going to be able to get rewards, so we're just going to keep doing so we can get to League 25, and so we can unlock that other unit. All right, so we'll start with our unit over here. Get some attackers on the board, and then if we need to do the reflect damage, we'll do that with our summon. We can also just hold off on that too. Summon our unit here with the giving some health back to our units or giving health back to our warlord. And it has decent health as well, so that's good. Alright, we're gonna be losing out on that. Summon our unit here. Get some damage, get some health back. And then also, like I said, if, when this dies, it gives plus attack to our units. So in this case, if it dies, we'll get some attack stats over there. Is that enough? 6, 12, 14. We got to deal 3 damage. So in this case, we are good. All right. I uh, can't open that up, but that's fine. Got to get one more, and then we'll be into League 25, which then we can unlock our new unit. So we got that over there. Hmm. This unit is going to be an issue, but I guess we'll just have to do our reflect unit for now. We're actually going to place this over here so that we can get some protection in the line if we have to. So we have our reflect damage. We're going to actually destroy this unit because seven damage is not going to be good for us here. Uh, just figuring out what we want to do. We'll summon our range uh, over there. Actually, here, we'll do our storm skill. That'll make a little more sense. So then we can destroy that in combat, and then we can also start setting up our board. All right, so reflect damage, reflect damage over there. We don't have our storm skill anymore, which is unfortunate. Uh, do we want to destroy? We got that over there. Damage. Yeah, this is fine. This unit will. This unit alone will take care of both of these units. And then if they decide to summon an extra unit over here, we'll we'll uh, get rid of those. 
All right, so we got that over there. Got five. We'll summon our unit to get rid of this. Heals their warlord, but it's not really a big deal. Right now, we're just making sure we can set up our board with uh, some units with high health and then also our attackers. So we have that. Take a look here. Okay, got to get rid of this, so we'll do that. Summon our unit here to give plus health to our units. Okay, they still have their skill over here, and actually it deals more spikes damage, so we want to summon units that can take the spikes damage. Uh, we're going to not kill that. We're going to summon units that can take the damage, so we'll do that. And as you can see, we're getting some health back to our Warlord, which we're not really concerned about taking damage. We just got to make sure that we can deal enough damage to their units. So we have that, that here so combat will destroy oh combat will destroy us here we'll do that i forget what the attacks of these units are i know they're pretty low but uh you know every every point of damage does count uh in these early stages all right so we have that over there i'm gonna summon this here to more combat get some health back and again we're not even concerned about this unit anymore because we are threatening for lethal uh next turn if this lane isn't blocked and they just run back, so that helps us. All right. Okay, we are now at League 25, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Okay, now we got a couple more things that are unlocked, so we can check those out. Got some quests done. Uh, so the first thing here is that you have the guild that is unlocked. Guild is something, basically, uh, there are these clans in here uh, in Mighty Party, and what you can do is you'll do some other quests, and uh, you'll be able to get some more rewards. Uh, you need to sign up to be in a guild, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll hit some more rewards in our chest, and we have a new warlord too, so we can check that out. And then new units that are opened, we'll close this out. Get some rewards. Got a new unit. And they're telling us how to do the guild anyway, so we'll do that. So we'll go there. Okay, looks like we'll have to band together to create guilds. Create either one or join an existing one, sir. All right, uh, well. Looks like we're locked out of the majority of them because we have too little might. As you saw before, we have roughly around 1,200. We're just going to scroll down here. Maybe we can create a guild. How about that? Or let's create a guild. Or we can join one too. Um, well, I wonder what happens if we create a guild. Let's create a guild. Sure. Uh, well, we can change our guild badge. Let's, let's try to make it a little, little fun here. What is what is considered fun? I've never seen the side before. This is really cool. Uh, if something looks really memey, we'll just continue with the memes. But right now, it looks like it's just all, uh, you know, flags and insignias and stuff like that. Very serious. What's uh here? Here? How many of these do they have? There's there's a lot of stuff here. That could be good. The one with the egg, chains, got that. Is there something that's just like really, really weird? Undo that. No, no. Could do that. Could do that. I'm just cycling through all of these. See if we can find any. I love fog. What is fog? What is fog? Oh, and now we're back to donuts. All right. Um. Hmm. All right. We're gonna go back to that that uh, kitten thing, and we're gonna choose that. We're almost there. Here we go. Yeah, we'll choose our kitten. All right. Uh, what is our guild name? Uh, hmm. Nah. I don't know. This is not going to be relevant anyway. I don't want to do that. But you know what? We'll 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 do it. We'll do it so that people know what's going on. So we'll actually, we'll do this in such a way that we can actually remember.
and then guild motto um again we're just making this so that we can create it so uh i uh sure guild message welcome to the error dog Max members, how many max members do we want? Can we increase this? Let me check this out. Oh, looks like we can't do anything. Max officers is one, minimum squad. We will auto accept so that we'll allow anyone to come in because we're okay with that. We'll create it and let's go. Apparently we have a guild. So now we can invite some players and become stronger. We'll fight for provinces in the turf war and then we can make the guild the first in our guild ranks. Sure, why not? <laughs> All right, so nothing available. Our only member is ourselves. Let us invite some people. Sure. I'll invite everybody. What does change GM? Does that mean that we'll... Oh, no. We don't want to change the GM because we're the, we're the person doing it. All right, as you can see, our ranking is... Should be like something really, really weird. We don't even have a ranking because we are too low. And we don't have a single person in our guild, but that's okay. We just started, so we're just checking that out. All right, we have this turf war, so that's cool. Uh, turf war started. Okay, so it says you can fight for provinces in turf war, and then you make your guild the first in guild rankings. So what can we do? Let's check out these green flashing things here. All right, so these green flashing things, they allow us to go to certain provinces where we can attack. Looks like the owner is whoever this is neutral and says in order to capture the province power of your squads must be more than the defense power i assume the defense power is 39 so we'll need to summon troops that are equal to or it has to be greater than sorry so we need to summon 3987 uh, we can attack them and it also looks like they have a couple of other things here so order units that are summoned on that particular tile will get an attack boost uh has rewards here we'll get some commons and then we'll also get some guild contribution so that's cool has this thing over here nothing to scout because there's no other person attacking and then we can just attack and we'll see what we can do so looks like we can summon all of our units that are in our squad to that tile we can choose whichever ones we want to summon so order nature chaos or all of them let's do all and we don't have enough because as you can see here our 612 is going to be smaller than that 174 so that was unfortunate. Uh, we'll close out. Let me see if we can do some other places to attack. Maybe there's some that are smaller. Roughly 300. No. Nope. So <laughs> we don't even have enough to attack. So that's unfortunate. But what we can do. All right. We're going to hold off because that can still attack. We're going to send over here. We'll send our units. And as you can see here, even though we don't have enough to actually destroy this, we'll get some sort of reward. So in this case, it'll be gold. Gold is good. So we'll do that. We did send some heroes to the turf war, so we did complete another quest. And then it says sent heroes will be unlocked in 157. So it looks like in about well, about two hours, we'll be able to send these heroes again to attack. All right. Uh, as you can see here, our 3510 is not enough to destroy that. But we do get some rewards, so we'll do that. And we'll check back in uh, in about two hours. Actually, we don't have to check back in because we don't have enough people in our squad. So... The clash that does occur, so it, a clash happens basically at the end where you see everybody who is attacking and the owners, they'll attack each other, and then they'll do their subtraction for their math, and then whoever is the biggest in terms of troop count will own that particular tile. Uh, also says rewards and resets will occur in 156, so the clash will occur, and then after, the rewards will then come up. So these are those that are available. All right, so we'll close this out. And we'll claim our rewards, and we'll move on. All right, we're at 25. Can we get our new unit? We do. Great. So we'll get our new unit. Reach League 25 and got our free. So we'll do that. Unlock. Got some gold. And this new unit over here. And it is an epic, so that's good. We're going to be putting that in our squad. So we'll go back to our squad. And we will then... Just drag that in just make sure we do like our unit here with the higher health all these units are, are useful in some way so we're going to let's get this one here 
So let's take a look at their stats over here. So it says plus, uh, oh, got some attack, some health. Give plus attack to our order units and then plus health to our rain, our other order units as well. Of the units that are not order, it's this one, this one, and this one. So maybe we want to do some sort of synergy with our units. Uh, got that over there, damage over there. Yeah, we're gonna hold off. These units are still relatively too weak in order to change things around. Let me see if we can get some more boosts. We can upgrade our Warlord health, but that's really it. And we'll just keep battling. Just clearing some stuff here. These exclamation points mean that there's something new for them, but right now they're not really relevant. All right, what is going on over here? Oh, the rewards, right, right. Got some news updates. This is a spot where you can look and see uh, some of the in-game changes that are going on. That's good. Nothing going on right here. All right, we're going to go back to the journey now, see if we can get this done. Actually, hold on. One more thing. I forgot. We're going to change our Warlord. That is what we're going to do. Because I know we up, uh, unlocked a Warlord. So we have this new Warlord over here, which you can see. We can click up here, and we can unlock that. We do need to set our squad for every one, every Warlord that we do change to. So as you can see here, it's this one, but now we have to do this here. We're gonna check a look here. So they have different set of skills. They also have health here. Uh, we're going to upgrade as normal. And then as you see, got a little bit of upgrade to their skills. We're gonna do our filter, get our stronger units. Can we upgrade this again? We can. Uh, we'll hold off until we, if we get beat, but then we'll upgrade our, our units. We also need to get rid of some of those other units that are not as useful. Got that one, get rid of this one, this one. Our reflect unit, and then where's the other unit? The one that, we have to, the unit that gave our health back here. So we have this over here. All right, so now we'll go back to journey, and then we'll continue. Okay, we already went through their skills, so we'll just get right into it. All right, we will start with getting rid of this building that gives the plus health to their units. All right, we'll continue on with summoning our range unit to destroy this unit and then also allow us to keep attacking. Oh, the vampirism, I forgot about that. X, X, all right. Also, I have to remember too that we have our skill here. So we have our spikes damage. The spikes is only going to occur when we have our warlord attacked. So this actually changes the way that we're going to battle, which is actually kind of weird. All right, so we'll have combat over here. Destroy this, destroy this, and then destroy the tree. We'll have our reflect damage over here. Hopefully it gets rid of this. So damage, damage, not quite. All right, we're going to have to change where we're attacking now at this point. So we're going to summon our range unit over here. Get some damage. So as I mentioned, the strategy for the warlords do change because of how the skills work. So this one works by when you take damage to your warlord, they'll take uh, spikes damage. So we're actually going to need some slots that are open. And so that is why we're holding off on summoning more units along the line here. We're going to let this unit be destroyed, and so that way we can then use our spikes to get rid of these units. So damage, damage over there. We'll do our spikes now, so you'll see what happens. So we'll take some, we'll be taking some damage, but then as a result, we'll be able to get rid of these units and deal some more damage as as long uh, as as well. So damage, damage, damage. Right now we're just dealing with these trees that are in the way. Summer unit over here. These trees are giving negative attack to our units, so that is why it's taking much, much longer. Okay, so damage over there. Uh, Summer unit over here. So we need our reflect damage to actually come in and destroy this, which it does not. We do that, we do that. Combat. Uh, this is fine. Just trying to get rid of their other units. 
Uh, for those who are tuning in right now, we started a new account in order to actually cover some of the newer stuff or some of the older stuff for a new account. So things like Journey, uh, just going through the opening up new units and also checking out some things that we haven't really thought of. I also created a guild. <laughs> I haven't done that before. So we, uh, we did a little bit of that. And then for the other account, we did the, uh, what do you call it? We did Dark Tower, Divine Arena, some League. And so, yeah, we're just basically uh, doing this right now. Uh, we also just opened up a new Warlord. So that was, that was kind of cool. Uh, got the damage over here. Got to get rid of this. Don't have any spikes damage. That's really rough. We're also resisting the temptation to buy a unit. We do have gems to do that, but we're going to we're going to tough it out and uh, see if we can get through this without uh, doing any really any major upgrades. Because also we're going to need gems in order to do world events <laughs> soon enough. Uh so we have enough for that. So 6 9 so that's 15. And we won't have enough combat to destroy that. Could do that. 15. Don't think we're going to be able to get through this, but we'll see. So we'll do our combat. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And if they deal six damage in the ranged, we are toast. They do. All right. Not a problem. We saw that they had a lot of trees coming out in play that helped them block for damage. And so because of that, we were and not only did they block for damage, they also set our uh, attacks lower. So that is why we had a, had an issue over there. Uh, we will. Yes, we'll do that. Start with our melee unit here to actually help block for our building and then also keep that building alive. We do need to get rid of this building because we can't have our have their units get plus uh, health. So we'll summon our unit over here. We'll do our spike skill, and so we're actually going to leave these lanes open so that we can have this destroyed. We get some health back off of our attacks. We have the damage over here. So damage. All right, this will be destroyed, so that's unfortunate. We do want to keep this building alive, so we'll summon here. <clears throat> I think after this uh, after this battle, I just need to do a quick uh, refresher, get some water, and then go to the bathroom, and then we'll continue on from there. So we have damage over here. I'm gonna summon our unit here with the reflect. Our spikes are going to be gone because they only have two turns for that, so that is why we summoned over here. All right, we did do our reflect damage, so that's cool. Got the trees that give negative attack in the line. Do we need to get rid of these? No, but we can summon this over here. Get some extra attack, damage, damage, and damage. And we will threaten for lethal if we can actually keep these lanes blocked or unblocked rather. Great, all right, so that is good. No death triggers and we'll get our damage and we'll go. All right, so we got some experience, got some ranks up, and we can then move on. All right, hold on for just a moment. I have to go, you know, just take a short break. I'll be back in about, what, like two minutes, and we'll go from there. So hold up. <laughs>
Okay, <clears throat> and we're back. All right, uh, like I said, just had to get some stuff. We got our water ready, and we have our cough drop and everything. All right, cool. All right, we're going to head on to the next part of the journey, so let's go. Looking like their skills, so they have plus health to their units. Uh, plus health to their units. <laughs> Attack boost to nature units. Plus health to melee units. Spikes. And then spikes to another unit. All right, sounds pretty straightforward, so let's go. Okay, take one with their building, so plus health to another unit, and then plus attack to one of our units. All right, we'll start with our unit over here to get rid of their plus health. <clears throat> Looks like pretty much they're going to have a lot of health bonuses. So seeing what we'll need to do. So we'll have combat, combat. Would that be enough? No, that won't be enough to destroy that. Won't even be enough to destroy that either. That's that's really sad. All right, uh, but we'll have enough door to block for here, so that's good. A plus health to our units. Attack that over there, and then, like I said, our building here will give plus attack to our units. So as long as we can keep them alive, we'll have some advantage over there. So we have damage. Checking look their spikes. So damage, damage. Summon our reflect unit, and then hopefully we'll have some reflect to actually destroy this. This has five health at this point. Right. Uh, so combat, combat, we'll destroy that. We'll summon our unit here with the higher health. Now it's in pretty good shape. We have a couple of our units that are going to stay alive. We have spikes again. Uh, combat, combat. So not quite enough to destroy those either. Uh, we'll summon our unit here with the slightly higher health. We'll actually place it on this attack room. You can't really see it, but there's that circle over here. Let's see what they're saying. Can't really see it. It's a plus one attack, so that'll be good. All right, we'll summon another unit to defend for our range unit over here. Combat damage should destroy that. We'll summon our uh, extra attack unit over here. Or sorry, extra summon over here. And now we're in pretty good shape. We don't have to even use spikes at this point because we have a lot of health and we have lethal on this lane here. So we'll summon and we're good. I don't know why this one seemed a lot easier than the other journey bosses that we fought so far. Very surprising. All right, uh, moving on. Hey, cool. We have one of our friends down here. D <laughs> okay. Nice. All right, uh, taking a look at the next boss here. So whenever one of their units comes into play, gives plus attack. It has plus health to their units. Uh, when it attacks, it gets plus attack. Blocked to another unit and spikes. Spikes. And health. So it looks like we'll have to deal with some spikes damage and then also the plus health. So we'll take care of that. Right. Uh, let's see if there's anything that we've been throwing. So we have spikes, we have our plus health to our units, and then we have this over here. Gonna draw away some of the damage because we want to keep that building alive. So we'll summon over. We'll summon this over here. So we're summoning this here because we want to give plus health to our units here. So you can see this little rune. You can't really see or the pentagram over here. It gives plus health at the beginning of the turn. So that is why we got that over there. Uh, I got the spikes damage. Summon our reflect unit to block for some damage. Okay, uh, let's see, we got that over there. We will summon our range unit here to get some extra damage. And we'll do our spikes if the uh, if, if another lane comes out uh, that needs to be unlocked. So in this case, we'll do it now. All right, so we'll do our spikes now. Uh, they're taking 21. Got to deal enough damage over here. So we're going to continue with, actually, we're going to summon our unit here. 
gives our health back to our warlord whenever we attack so that now we can actually take some spikes we can use our spikes and then still take damage over here all right so we have some damage over here but still not enough to destroy that uh we're gonna use our spikes over here so that's fine we'll get some health back off of our attacks And so next turn, this will be destroyed by the spikes on our side. And then we should have lethal next turn here. These are now open, but we don't have enough damage over on this line, which is unfortunate. No damage over here. Well, best we can do is deal the max damage. Probably should have summoned our unit here with the extra attack bonuses whenever they, uh, whenever it dies. But this is fine. We got the damage over here. And should be all set. All right, so there you go. Okay, moving on to the next journey boss. Oh, we're finally at Moondew. Great. This is the Path of Heroes thing that we're talking about. So let's take a look at their skills. So start of turn gives negative attack to our units. So that's bad. Uh, plus attack, uh, plus health for their units, and then also whenever it dies, it gives poison five to a random unit. So poison is a new skill. It, whenever one of our units gets hit with poison, it will take damage from poison damage. All right, got a plus attack over here. Got plus attack when their unit dies, so we have that as well. Spikes and then block. All right, let's go. Uh, let us start with our range unit, or sorry, our extra unit, and then summoning our range unit over here to get some extra damage. And then as you saw, that negative attack at the beginning. We have to do our spikes now because we can't really take the plus attack that is coming on over here. Uh, give plus attack to our order units. Get some damage going. And then also we want to concentrate our units as much as possible in the same line so that we can take advantage of all our lanes being open with spikes. Next, we will summon our melee unit to get some health back. And so that way we can also take the spikes damage. So 22. Oh, it's going to be very close right now. All right, and this now is poison. Can't really get rid of this. Uh, we oh we can combat this. This will be fine. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, actually, no. You know what? We'll do this instead because we will need to give attack boost to our units at some point. All right. Well, we'll summon our unit here to block for some damage, get some health back, and then also destroy this unit. But we are running out of attacks, and so we will need another attack boost over here. Uh, we'll spread out the damage. Okay, and we just need to find a way to deal four damage to them somehow. Which is not going to be here, but do we have a range unit? We do! Great. I was concerned that we were... Because we have a lot of melee units in our squad, so that will actually make us... Uh, it's, high, it's very likely that we might be blocked for our own units. So we did defeat the Moon Dew. That's good. Okay, moving on in journey. Oh, we can still claim some other stuff, but let's claim this one first. Okay, let's get some more gold. Claim the Moon Dew uh, on the Path of Heroes. Now we have to defeat other players four times. This one here, just taking a what a, what a rank up. Then this one here. All right, we'll go back to League and then go defeat some players. So we just got a new unit, so that's cool. Got some more rares, even better. 
Uh, we're going to hold off on summoning our spikes until we see an actual threat to the board. So we'll just start with going for attack, summoning our unit with the extra summon, and then going from there. Uh, Yeah, we'll do our spikes now. All right, we'll summon here to spread out the damage. Also have protection behind the building. And then we should have lethal in next turn because of the amount of damage that we have. Unless, well, I guess they block over here. Some health back as well, so probably not. Damage, damage. Place this over here. Spread out the damage. And even though we're blocking ourselves from using the spikes, we just want to focus now on dealing the lethal damage to their warlord, which we end up doing here. So that was number one. Go for number two. Oof. All right, they have stronger units right here. So we'll actually do our spikes right from the get-go. We'll summon this over here. Get some damage. I don't think we'll be able to make it out of this one because of how their uh, their stats are going, but we'll, we'll do what we can. All right, so we'll attack. Get some health back. This unit here gives plus attack to their nature units, and then also at the end of the turn gives negative attack to one of our units. So that is why we are slowing down a little bit in terms of our progress. And we have damage over here. Mm, let's see what makes sense. We have that over there. We're gonna have to start trading with their units eventually because we are behind in uh, the attack. We have seven, probably gonna take another five or six down here. All right, they're also healing, which is also not good. Summon our unit over here to reflect some damage, also block some damage. And this building here is actually giving plus health to their units, so we probably should have destroyed this in the very beginning. So we have damage, damage. Best we can do right now is just block over here. Get rid of that plus health. Also give some health back to our warlord as well. So damage, damage. Yeah, I think we might have fallen too far behind. So three, two, five, so six. I don't think this is enough, but we'll play this out anyways. So 11, and we are off by four damage, which is not good. All right. Not a problem. You should have gotten rid of that building in the beginning. Just didn't, I, I overlooked it. All right, so no buildings this time. So we can just go straight for damage. Okay, they did their own. Do our spikes to get rid of that ranged. And then we'll place this over here to give plus health to our units. And then also, like I said, focus with our units in the same lane. So that way we can get the most out of our spike skill. Okay, uh, spikes has already happened at least once, I believe. So we can actually let this go. We're going to summon our unit here with the uh, giving health back to our warlord. Yeah, Spikes is available for one more turn, so that's why we didn't summon our unit to destroy this here. So damage, damage. Our combat damage will destroy that. Summon our ranged unit for plus attack. And there we go. So that was number two. The next two chests that we end up going for, we're not going to be able to claim because we are currently out of slots. So we're going to just, uh, you know, we'll just battle and then we'll uh, claim the rewards. So we'll do our spikes first. And like I said, we're going to keep our lanes open as possible so we can get as much advantage out of the spikes. So we'll do that. Damage over there. We'll do our range summon to destroy this so they can't get health back off of the attacks. This will be destroyed and then potentially whatever unit gets summoned over here. All right, so we have combat, combat, summon this over here. And next turn, yep, as you saw, the spikes are now gone. So we're back to taking damage again. Put that over there. Uh, summon our... I'm just summon here for some extra damage. Okay, and we have lethal in two lanes over here, so we should be all set. 
So combat, combat, yep, 14. Just going to place this over here. And we're good. All right, so unfortunately, there is a rare chest here, but since we don't have any slots to open it, let me see actually how long it'll take. Take, no, we're not going to wait three hours. All right, so we're just going to skip that. And then we'll get our rewards as usual, or our, our league rewards rather. And hmm, this one's a little different. A little more health. I'm actually expecting stronger units uh, against them. So we'll see what we got. Okay, I'll uh, we'll summon our range unit to destroy this. Okay, we'll then summon our other unit here to get rid of this. But right now, it looks like we're just trading back and forth with their units until we can find something to get rid of. So, eight, six, four, so we're off by one, which is unfortunate. We'll summon our unit here so that we'll get some attack. And then also, if it dies, it'll give attack boost to then destroy this building. Uh, so 6, 12, got to do the math here. So 14, so not enough yet. We'll summon our unit here. This is going to do some reflect damage, so it might potentially ruin our setup. But we had enough damage to eventually get rid of this unit. And now we're in pretty good shape. We have our five units, and then we only have the building that we're concerned about. Uh, summon more attackers. So combat over there. We could have potentially gotten rid of this, but we're so close to lethal at this point, we really don't have to worry about destroying their units. So now we have lethal here because of the two lanes that are unblocked. Go from there. Okay. And so, like I said, we're not going to claim that stuff. We got our four wins. So we'll go claim our reward in the path. Okay, we got to rank up one time, which we will be able to do eventually. Let me see if we can actually, we'll go to our journey and then we'll claim our rewards and see if we can get enough experience here. So it does give experience, as you can see here. We'll claim that. And is that enough? That is not enough. How much How much experience do we need? No, does not tell us. Uh, is there another way to get a prosthetic experience? Oh, you can't, well, there used to be a thing where if you leveled up, you could just rank up and that'd be fine, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do it now. So we will we'll try one more time, see if we can get some stuff. Go oh, experience. Is nine enough? Nine is not enough. All right, well, we'll just keep on going on a journey then. We got another stick figure battle, so we'll get that done. All right. Yeah, just click on it. I got to actually direct it. All right. So we got that. Go into the lower ones as usual. So 40, so put it at 85, so put it at 145. And then this one here, we'll bring it to, bring it to 100. So that'll be enough to destroy that big boss over here. And then we're good. Oh, hey, we're getting experience off of the journey. So that's even better. Didn't have to worry about that. So we'll claim our path of heroes. Almost done with it here. Then now finally we can get to Eric the Gray, which I assume will be the last boss for chapter one. So we'll keep going. Pedal here, so it starts a turn, deals damage to our units. Poisons our units for four. Plus attack. Plus health to their units. Heal their units. And then heal. Here. Great. Now let's go. Okay, uh, I know from from the fa uh, from the start right here, they have plus health to their units. You can actually tell by these little symbols over here. So we're gonna have to get rid of those. We've got the damage to our warlord, and then the spikes damage over here. Uh, we'll start with our unit over here to deal as much damage as we can to that building. Oof! All right, so they do have their poison unit as you saw here. So attacks with poison. Got that over there, could do that. Uh, some reflect damage, so that'll be good. We're taking some damage to our units. 
So damage there. So we actually did get rid of that unit. Uh, a little bit of poison, so that is fine. Um, don't really want our units, their units, to be healed. So we'll do our spikes, and then well, that's what makes the most sense. We'll do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll concentrate units on this line. That's fine. So that way we can still do our reflect damage even for a turn or so. This will be destroyed by spikes. Uh, we can take the damage over here. We're going to be summoning our units to get some health back. As you can see here. And then we'll let this unit be destroyed by spikes. Okay. Uh, Starve, heal, nature, allies. So that'll be destroyed. We'll continue on with. Actually, we'll summon over here. Uh, no, we don't want to waste the damage. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll summon this over here. So that way we can get some attack boost for later if this unit is destroyed. Take some damage. Okay, uh, 6, 18. Should be pretty close. We'll have combat over here. Combat, and we're actually good here. So that took a little bit of maneuvering in terms of using our spikes in order to maximize damage against their units, and then also healing, and then getting the extra damage. All right, we got two more, looks like, or three more rather. So let's check them up. So whenever one of their units appears, it gets them block. So that's bad. Plus attack whenever heal occurs. Plus heal. Okay, so those two units will combo together. They have block over here. Plus units. Uh, plus attack with units with block. Plus health, two units in line, and then spikes. All right, let's go. Okay, sure, but you're not Eric the Gray. That's that's not PG friendly. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at their building. So at the end of the turn, we'll deal damage to our warlord. Will this be enough? Eh, we'll hold off. These, this extra damage hasn't really added up, so we're just going to focus on our damage. We're going to put this over put this over here. So we're, we're summoning this unit because it has that extra summon, and then that summon landed on this extra, um, the plus attack rune over here. All right, so we'll do our spikes, and then we will continue on with our... We're actually going to put this behind the building here so that it gets protected. We do want to heal because we do have that damage happening to our warlord and then also because we don't want it to be destroyed uh melee units can't attack behind buildings so that's why we did that so we'll continue on have that unit here with the block but we do have enough damage to destroy that all right we'll have our damage over here and we'll continue on plus health to our units and then some health back whenever we are attacking the warlord so right now this building isn't so much of a problem we our spikes are now gone so that's unfortunate but we do have enough damage going in we'll get some more attack boost to our order units which are all of these here and then getting some health back and we may have lethal here assuming they don't if they block this lane we'll have 21 yeah we'll, we'll, we have lethal here we'll just do our extra summons damage damage And there you go. Yeah, just a little bit of planning. We had to, you know, figure out if we we're going to end up destroying their buildings or not. But we ended up just going for damage. And so that way, as you saw, we overwhelmed the board. We had six or seven summons and we just took the victory from there. All right, moving on. We are now in number 29, Mr. Gilbert. Look at their skills. So plus attack whenever they appear. Plus health to their units in the line. When Warlord attack heals them for a little bit, no skills, block, and then Mental Shield. So once again, we're dealing with units that can take uh, another hit of damage. All right, they got a little bit of health, so that is unfortunate. Uh, let's take a look at this building here. So at the end turn, deals damage to one of our units, so that is bad. And then also here, at the end of turn, deals uh, plus health to their units. Our units right now have relatively low health, except for these two. So probably going to have to destroy this building. We know for sure we're going to destroy this building. We're just not sure in which order we're going to do it. Probably going to look to destroy this first. Uh, ugh, don't really have a lot of damage going on here. We'll summon our reflect unit. It has the most health and uh, also on this attack rune. 
So we'll get a little bit of a boost, and then we can just follow it up with a range unit to destroy this. And then also the ref reflect damage could potentially destroy uh, their unit over here as well. So we have that. We'll do our spikes, because we do need to get rid of this uh, metal shield. And uh, what is that attack? Oh, it's an attack rune as well. All right, so that spikes will then get rid of this. We have to then destroy this over here, seeing here, block one. So that'll put it at 11, which we don't, uh, we can have this over here. Really want to get rid of this building, so we will do that. So we'll, hmm. we do need, oh, we need some form of protection though. That's a problem. All right, so we have damage, damage. Okay, this unit will die from spikes. Okay, that reflect damage over there. All right, so combat, and then, oh, the plus health, that's what happened. All right, so we will summon our unit here to get some health back. Yeah, we'll summon our unit here to get some health back. Destroy these units. Oh, the, the healing of units. Oh, man. All right, shouldn't have done that then. I forgot about the um, the other skill. Will that cost us? I think that does cost us. We have damage, damage. No, we're not going to be able to get through here. So that's fine. That one miscalculation in damage ended up costing us the battle. That's okay. We'll learn from that. All right, same thing. Let's go. All right, uh, so let's make sure we get rid of these buildings first. This building over time is actually going to ruin our units. So that's why you want to still get rid of this unit first. So you can prevent the health boost and then we'll then destroy this over here. Have our spikes, so we'll do that. And we will see what makes most sense. We're gonna yeah, we'll sum this over here. Spread out the damage and then also uh, what do you call? Give ourselves a little bit of a health boost. All right, so that is destroyed. I want to summon another range unit so we can actually take a crack at this. We'll break the shield, attack, and then attack over here. Any other skills? No, it's just the mental shield. All right. So damage, damage, and then damage over there. Uh, just doing some math. So combat. All right, this will be good here. So we'll summon this to actually help block in the lane. Then damage over here. Our next goal is to then destroy that building because it is going to pick off some of our units. So we'll do that. Uh, summon over here. Get as much damage as we can to that building. Damage, 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 and damage. And probably looks like we don't have to deal that, destroy that building anymore because we are threatening lethal now. So we have that, that, and that. <clears throat> Great. Uh, for those who are tuning in right now, uh, we started a new account to actually go through some of the uh, new, uh, sorry, the older stuff for the newer accounts so that they can go through, see <clears throat> how Journey works, how Hunt works, and all the other fun stuff. We haven't gotten to Hunt yet, but we'll, we'll cover that in another video. Uh, we opened up a new guild, so that was cool. And we're just experiencing this game uh, fresh again, so that's kind of kind of nice. Uh, in our other account, we also did Divine Arena, Dark Tower, League, and then we're also in the World event, so we're going to be covering that uh, on a later stream. All right, so we now should be at number 30, 30 of 30, so we'll be at the end of uh, chapter one of this journey. Take a look at their Warlord for skill, so whenever one of their units attacks, it will deal damage to another unit. Okay, they have this unit over here. Wow. First epic, I believe, that we are facing. So it gets plus attack for every unit around themselves, and then whenever it dies, it deals damage to a random female unit on our side. Uh, plus health over here. Plus health to their units whenever the Warlord. We need to make sure that we don't mess that up last time. Uh, plus health, uh, plus attack to their units whenever heal triggers, and then heal for health. All right, let's go. Is this a freestyle here? Strong and wrong? All right. Uh, surrender. Never surrenders. All right, cool. 
All right, let's take a look at their buildings. So they have plus health to their units and plus health to their units again. Probably going to get rid of this one first because it gives them more plus health. Uh, hmm. Going to need to take some form of protection. So we'll start with our reflect unit over here. We'll follow it up with our range unit to then destroy this if this is still alive. Which it is, so that's good. Uh, can we take the damage off of this? The six? The healing in the line for four? No, we'll, we'll do our reflect to get rid of this early. And then also we want a clear shot at this building, which is going to give a problem to our units. Because if their units have too big of health, we can't really do anything about them. So we have that. We're going to be taking some damage here. Uh, also, it has a death trigger. So whenever it dies, it deals damage to a female unit. Currently, these units here with this blue symbol here, they are male, so they won't take any damage. But we will need to destroy this, as mentioned before. We will put this over here. This unit, however, is female, so it will be destroyed, uh, assuming this we do end up destroying this unit. So damage, damage. We'll have enough to destroy that, but we don't have enough to destroy this. Could block for some damage. That, that would be good. Do that. Uh, we'll do this one here. Yeah, they're healing a little bit of damage. We do need to get rid of this healer over here, and we do need to also block for some damage. But looks like their units are much stronger than ours at this point, so it's going to be a uphill battle. Uh, I can't do this over here. If I do that, we'll block for some damage here. Hopefully we can get that reflect damage to... Actually, no, the reflect damage won't even be enough to destroy that. So five, they summon another range unit. We are toast down here. And, well, we are not. However, we still need to deal with their other units to... Nope, no good. All right. Maybe you just use our spikes too early, just because of that unit only had five health and even though that the other unit had uh full health so it doesn't really matter for that all right we'll try that again have to deal with that large epic we'll start with our dealing damage to over here might have to rush their uh warlord too especially since a lot of their units have the heal and we got the extra damage over there too Hmm. Keep this build. We'll keep this. Uh, we'll summon this unit behind the building here, so we can get some health back. I'm gonna have to contend with taking some extra damage over here. So damage, damage. Oh yeah, and that extra damage to our units whenever uh, one of them attacks as well. So we got that. Got to deal enough damage to destroy this, so we can keep this open. Will that be enough to destroy that? I should have calculated this here. Damage, damage. All right, we can at least keep that lane open. Next turn, we're going to have to block the damage going on from here because of that. Uh, could get some health back. Will that be enough? Mm, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. We'll summon this here just to block for some damage. But it's not looking too good, especially since that building here is giving the plus health to this unit. Mm. Yeah, we'll get some block. So damage, damage. We got some health back, so we can actually take a couple more points of damage. But it looks like their strategy right now is just to overwhelm us with the block over here. So we'll do that. Got to knock these units out. So that'll be destroyed. Take some combat damage over here and potentially lose a unit over here. Mm, all right. Uh, we'll get some health back. So we'll do that. But. Other than that, it doesn't look like we're gonna we gotta find a way to destroy these units. That's the problem. Alright, so have combat over here, combat. Yeah, it's not gonna be good. Alright. You know, we need a legendary. <laughs> that is that is the big issue. We do not have any legendaries, and they hell they have at least one epic that's gonna be really good. Let me just scope around, see if we can get some extra stuff. 
So just some friend coins. Oh, did I get this? This is so weird. I've, I've never been a disciple on the other side. That's kind of cool. Uh, so there is a disciple system. So what happens is pretty much if you start in a lower rank, you'll actually quote unquote be mentored by another player and uh, they will you know give you tips and stuff. Uh, if you actually end up buying premium content, they'll get a percentage of that back as gems. So that's kind of nice. Uh, and also they'll get a legendary chest once you reach level, what, League 17 at this point? Yeah. But for right now, we are still miles away from that. I'm just seeing if we can get some legendaries in some form or fashion. No. Do we have creds? We don't have creds. <laughs> right. Uh, what is this here? Oh, that's just extra rewards. All right, gotcha. Um, well, let's see here. Don't even have enough to buy this one mercenary chest, which is really sad. Could we buy the one? Oh, do I really want to do this? Sure, why not? All right, we'll spend the 100 gems. Has super discount, whatever. One time only, sure. We'll buy it, see what we get. Let's finish one of these requests. All right. Cool. We got some epics. We got uh, some extra copies over here. We got this other unit, the one that does the extra attack. So that's good. Will that be enough for us? Let's go. Let's go back to our squad. Filter that out. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll do our compile here. We'll give our warlord a little bit of health. And we have our two epics over here. I uh, need to make sure that we have attack because without attack, we cannot do anything here. So we have that, that, that. We'll keep our reflect unit as well. Just making sure that we have enough balance over here. Do we want to level these up? No, we'll, we'll hold off and see how much we can actually do. Uh, going back to journey. Go back to, sorry, go to the quest. See if we can claim some stuff. Get some last rewards before the daily quests expire. Name this. Got some extra gems over here. Looks like we were doing a lot of these quests in the meantime. We did have to spend gems just because of the boss that we're fighting right now, but hopefully this will be enough in order to get through. Trying to save those gems for other events. So, all right, let us start off. We do have a little bit more of an attacker, so that's good. We're gonna have to start with our unit with the high health so that we can get some protection. Next, we're gonna try and pick off this building so that their units can't get a health boost anymore. In this case, it's over there. Let's do that. Do our summon, attack that and destroy that. And also it has a little bit of an extra negative attack to their units. So eventually this unit might actually be able to stall out their units. All right, so we got the damage going. Uh, Spikes is going to destroy that, so that's cool. Uh, we'll continue on with this unit over here. So the one good thing is that their Warlord is not healing. So as long as we can keep dealing damage to them, we should be fine. So damage, damage, and damage. Oh, this was supposed to be destroyed. That's no good. Damage over there. Guess we'll block for damage. Our... Oh, you know what? I didn't put that guy with the um, heals back our warlord whenever we attack. So that is going to be an issue. So we have damage over there. We have nine damage. Oh, that's pretty close. I guess. But again, we can't heal for, for health right now, so that, that's a big issue. And we can take three damage anyway, so we'll just hold off. Maybe we need to focus on more damage. Maybe we'll switch our Warlord back to Adam in order to get the damage done. I mean, go back to our squad and find out. Right, so, oh, I mean, we have this unit here that gets the plus health, uh, plus attack rather. So that actually might be a little more useful than this one here. That out. Do you need attack bonuses? So just doing some filtering. We're gonna actually take this out. Because even the reflect won't be enough 
our key thing is to get rid of those buildings. So that's why we're doing that. Take a look at our uh, new unit over here. Well, we need to level up these. Uh, no, we're going to hold off on those. All right, so, and we're going to continue using our spikes. And we'll, let's go. Okay, so same thing. We want to make sure that we get rid of their buildings. So we'll do that. Summon our unit with the higher health. And then also gets an attack boost whenever it attacks. So we can keep it alive and then use it to get some advantage. So we got that over there. Then here. And we'll summon this over here. Maybe we should attack this building first, simply because of how this unit can actually block. Whereas if this building is already out in the open, so we don't have to attack that. So we'll have our spikes. Our spikes only deals 10 damage. So that's also a key thing as well. Uh, so we'll take the damage over here. Um, oh, I forgot to put it our healer again. That's what I'm, what am I doing? That's, that's no good. All right, so we'll at least block for some damage and hopefully we can actually keep this unit alive in order to go for the extra damage. Damage over there and damage over there. All right, so now our key thing is to actually block over here so we'll do that is there any unit here that can actually stop this unit we just went for the negative attack but doesn't look like we'll be able to get through if they have seven they should be good here okay so not quite which is actually good they give us a little bit of reprieve we'll do our extra summon here to block for some damage And looks like this unit is putting in work in terms of dealing damage and then also staying alive. All right, so that is be destroyed. Uh, this unit can actually be destroyed now, but it will deal damage to a female unit, which is potentially one of these over here. Got that over here. And this unit is going to be alive. Do we have enough for lethal? We do not. But we do want to get rid of this unit here. So we will summon our unit. Uh, summon this unit over here. Okay, and as long as this unit doesn't get run over or we take some extra damage, we are good. All right, so damage, damage, and we have the range unit over here. Nice. All right. Secret oak, secret passage. All right. All right, so we defeated Eric the Gray in Journey. We did complete all of chapter one. All right, we'll claim our awards. And then we are now done with chapter one. We're not going to, no, no premium buys. Stop that. Uh, yes, I am absolutely sure I don't want to receive these rewards. All right, so we're, uh, as you can see, we did finish chapter one. We're actually not going to go into chapter two because once we actually do go into chapter two, a timer should go off, as you saw before. Uh, can we actually go back into it? We can't even go back into it. That's that's rough. All right, so yeah, we're going to be... Oh no, they already forced us to do it. We have one day to do it. We'll, we'll do it on... We'll stream it on some other time, so that's fine. Uh, if not, I mean, we can also just pass on the, the rewards. So let me just take a look here. So it's just gold and rares. Yeah, we can just skip off on rares. That's fine. Don't really care about those, even though the gems are kind of nice. Uh, so we'll close that out. And uh, yeah, oh, we'll claim some stuff for the Path of Heroes and get that done. Close that out. And uh, yeah, so let us do a quick recap of what we did today on our stream. So in the beginning for our main account, we did the Dark Tower, Divine Arena, League, and then also uh, in this new account, which we opened up, we did have a whole bunch of stuff in terms of going through chapter one of the journey, got some rewards, and then also talked about some of the other newer things, or not newer things, but rather some of the new things that you'll face when you're starting as a new account. Uh, so we covered a lot of combat, we covered a lot of guild, uh, rewards and other uh, you know other things that are going around. Okay, uh, for Monday's stream, what are we gonna do? So 
So tomorrow is not streaming day, so we're actually going to hold off on there. But uh, we'll we'll definitely have some other videos uploaded in terms of for this particular account, especially since we have that journey timer. So we can probably do some of that. And then also we should be done with the world event. The world event, which is going on right now, is the high growth and the rich gifts and the desired wealth. So we're going to be leveling up our units, uh, assuming that there is a crisis fable. I'll be doing that on Sunday. If not, then we'll do it uh, on Sunday evening anyways to just get them leveled up. So yeah, uh, that, that is that. Thanks guys for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, or concern, leave a message on Twitch, Discord, or YouTube. The content and streaming schedule is right up there. Uh, please follow on Twitch for the live stream and then like and subscribe on YouTube for the uh, you know videos. If you miss a live stream, it'll be there. And then we also have coverage from my main account. And then there's also this new account to actually do the coverage for the journey uh, world events, divine arena, dark tower, anything you can think of mighty pie related. If you don't see it, leave me a note and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys have a good weekend. This is happy splasher signing off.